Hi! How's it going? Why do I feel a little delirious? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, happy Friday and welcome to Getting Big Crystal! Hooray! There's my cheerleader, thanks Dan! Hooray! Oh, I, I tried to toss that on the counter and went under the microwave. <laughs> oh, but it's 89 degrees, I don't want to turn on the 89, microwave. 89, dude! <laughs> that's not how it goes. That reminds me of the 80 new commercials. Maybe. 80 new, that too. Okay, yes. anyway. I do remember that. Alright. Hi everybody. Hi! What are we making today? We are making root beer float cookies, but see what had happened was when I make these recipe cards, I just make the recipe card. I don't really pay attention. I'm like, so many things, type, type, type. You're so attention to detail and so OCD that like you don't pay attention to that. No, I, I, I find the recipes. I check the recipes to make sure it's all doable, like the ingredients. I read through the instructions to make sure like it'll fit within the time frame of a show. No, you don't. <laughs> Most of the time. Most of the time. All right. Um, and then I make the calendar and send it off into the universe. And then no sometimes, okay, I try to be efficient, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the older I get, the more ADD I am. The more I'm just kind of all over the place. I try to be efficient and make all of my recipe cards in the beginning of the month and schedule all the posts so I don't have to think about it again. Do I actually do that? No, no. Where am I? Okay, there I am. There you go. I'm like, why am I not on the camera? Because you're way over there. I know. You're I like almost behind it. I didn't see who set that up. Okay, anyway. <laughs> this guy. Um, so I did not do that on this recipe, and I scrambled and made this uh, recipe card. I actually made it, I think, Friday or Saturday night, and then Sunday, like late at night, I'm like, oh crap, I have to schedule that. So I did that. Um, made the recipe card, here's the things and the stuff, and didn't even pay any attention. And then I pulled it up today, because I try to remember, and I did this week, to pull it up on Friday and go through the recipe just to make sure I know what I'm in for. And I realized this recipe calls for four cups of flour, Dan. Do you know how many cups of flour a normal cookie recipe takes? Or a normal, like, cake recipe or anything? One cup of flour. Two, Dan. Two, uh, uh, uh. Two cups of flour. <laughs> oh, I do not need a double batch of cookies in my life. I, do I want a double batch of cookies? Absolutely. Do I need a double batch of cookies? Absolutely not. Right now in this house, there are still homemade crumble cookies. There are still chocolate cookies with caramel chips. There's still banana coffee cake, which probably needs to go in the trash. Banana cream cheese coffee cake with a walnut something streusel that has like 50 words in the name of it. There is still lemon loaf and there is apple cinnamon coffee cake. Do I need any a sugar. double batch of cookies? I don't want any more sugar. And I think we're going to go to crumble cookies tomorrow. <laughs> I have that feeling because you know how like you eat a bunch of fast food when I was doing the reviews and then like everything had that fast food flavor to it. Like I love all the bakeables, but all I, I can feel sugar and chocolate. Nobody inside. makes you eat them all. You choose to constantly walk by and, oh, enjoy your sugar drink. Well, I got root beer just in case it's a fail. I can pour some, <laughs> I can pour some root beer on it Thanks, and, like, man. liven it back up. Thanks. I've got my uh, my root beer extract somewhere around here. Somewhere. I, hmm? Might have to use almond extract. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nobody told me. It was right there. Um, so, yeah, we're cutting this in half. I do not need that many. And when I told my mom I was cutting it in half, she said, absolutely not. I need that many cookies. You need to put the air back on. <laughs> it is hot as hell in here already. Um, so, yeah, uh, as I mentioned in the post, this is a root beer float cookie. My mom loves root beer. I did make a root beer sandwich cookie at one point where it was like like the oatmeal cream pies and it had root beer frosting in between two cookies. Same but different. Uh, but I did pick a root beer recipe because Sunday is Mother's Day and my mom loves root beer. So I picked a, a mother-friendly recipe. What are you doing? Making the air come this way. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, a beer on bike says, do I need to come over and help make some stuff disappear? Let me tell you, anytime anybody comes to my house, I'm like, please take this. I remember we please put Terry take to work. this. We put Terry to work when oh, she got here. I made her eat so much stuff. Terry, that girl put like, on some weight. <laughs> you went to the back of the cupboard and pulled things out. Like, Terry! Oh, yeah. Please <laughs> please consume Terry, the stuff. We just you... don't have the... the I feel better. <laughs> the better. stomach fortitude to contain. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, Dale says, before this recipe, I had never heard of root beer flavored extract in my life. Dude, you would be surprised at how many different kinds of extract there actually are. We all know about almond and vanilla extract. Maybe you heard of lemon, 
There are so many more. I have a coconut extract in there right uh, now. Jess sent me a picture of the banana extract There's the other day. Banana extract. Jamie wanted banana bread. The salt. Uh, Jamie wanted banana flavored something. Maybe I don't. Know. In the ninja probably cream? in the creamy. <laughs> probably in the creamy. Probably. Probably. Yes. Probably. yes. Um, so yeah, there's a lot, and most stores don't carry much beyond the the basics. Like Aldi will have lemon. Uh, my mind just went blank. Almond and vanilla. And I think that's it. I think that's all they have. But I think Walmart has a bigger selection. Um, the main grocery stores, like a State of Brothers, Albertsons, might have more than that. Uh, but you can't find all of them everywhere. Root beer, I, I remember I had to hunt it down. I might have had to buy it online. But yeah, it is a thing. I don't know why they don't just use regular root beer, but I guess root beer extract is the way we're doing. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, Nikki is going to Andy's Frozen Custard tomorrow. I have only had Frozen Custard at uh, Culver's. And holy crap, that stuff's amazing. Yeah. So amazing. So different than ice cream and gelato and yeah. all the other deliciousnesses. Uh, Liz says, plus piles of candy. You have no idea. So many piles of candy. And Dan bought a pack of 10 peeps for no reason. None of us in this house like peeps. They were like seven cents or something. <laughs> Every time you tell the story, they get cheaper. I don't know what. <laughs> Cheap. Cheaper? <laughs> Shut up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> um, Linda wants to know, are you doing anything for World Baking Day on Sunday the 21st? So I was trying to figure out, like, should we just do a baking show on, on that Sunday? What are we going to do? Look, as we have been disgusting, dis disgusting? <laughs> as we've been disgusting, there's too much snacks in this house. So no, no, I'm not. We will, uh... We will talk about it that Friday, which is I... in two, fight, three, I, I, it's What are we doing Friday? that Friday? What day are we on? 12, 7, 19. That's next Friday. We're making Twinkies. Okay, so here, well, I like it's a hard one. It, World Baking Day shouldn't apply to you. You bake every week. It it's, should apply to you at home. To, why don't you bake yes. with us that Friday night? Absolutely. Yeah, do that. Like, yeah. bake anything. Bake the chocolate chip cookies. Uh, because we're going to be doing some, like, Frankenstein monster injection stuff. Yes. Uh, into the tweets. More for us than you guys. Right, but 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 World Bake Day. Uh, oops, everybody I forgot to change else. the super chat overlay. World Bake Day <laughs> should be for everybody else. So bake with yeah, us that week. All you guys should bake. Yeah, bake something with us or draw baking. Uh, hi Dan from Amelia. I love your shirt, Crystal. Thanks. This was from. Uh, shoot, she's changed her name a bunch hi, of Amelia. times, and I don't know what her username is anymore. It was Husky Tails. Oh yeah. She's not that anymore. Tails. <laughs> <laughs> If you're listening, I can't uh, you, you should have one of those like high school graduation shirts. It's just the name with the line through it. And the name <laughs> through it. But hi, uh, hi, happy Friday night, Amelia. And now I'm blanking on her real name even. But it's it's from our friend whose name I can't remember. Why can't I remember? Heather? Mm -hmm. Is it Heather? Yep. Yes. Yes. I guess I kind of tried to help you out. <laughs> yeah. No, or just watch me scramble and act like I don't know anybody's name. I do know. I was just blanking because I'm I'm on the spot here. Uh, Sam's suggesting that we microwave the peeps, and then what? Like I know that's a thing, but then what? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I like Amanda's super chat. Happy birthday to the most amazing husband ever. Still doesn't name him. No. Nope. <laughs> still doesn't name him. That way it can apply to anybody whose birthday it is today. Even who is ex, a husband. An ex-husband. I think Amanda is on her fourth. <laughs> no, she's not. Shut third, up. Fourth? Third? Stop it. So maybe it's like, Stop you know, it. No, they're all happily ever after. Um, is Chris here, Amanda? No, he's out. Uh, he's out flexing. It's his birthday. <laughs> did, did you let him have the night off from being a husband? <laughs> Peep s'mores. Hmm. Hmm. It's so sugary, though. You can't do anything with the, the peeps, though. As soon as you get it hot, it turns to, like, let's stick to whatever's on it. Oh, I wanted yeah, just absolutely. to kind of put one in the microwave when Crystal went to work. Like, I was just going to, like, put it in the microwave for my own. I wasn't even going to film it. Just to, like, <laughs> see what it you. did. Yeah, You, you should film it and send it to Sam. So. Because she suggested that we send some of the snacks to her, but we all know how that works when you try to send snacks to Canada. I'm going to send you the peeps. It'll be so hard by the time it gets there. <laughs> <laughs> it would. It absolutely would. Uh, PJ is here. Hey, family. Watching while I pack up my room to head back to Michigan oh, for a few P weeks before I go to the Netherlands for hi, a month. Hi, PJ. You should, can you bring me back a rock from the Netherlands? Amanda mm -hmm. says, my... Amanda, my husband is also named Chris. They should have a Chris and Amanda. Two sets of Chris and Amandas. Chris and Amanda. I made a Dan Mosley Facebook page in like <laughs> 2000, what, eight, nine, whenever whenever Facebook first came out, and I invited all the Dan Mosleys on Facebook. And, and not, they, they all blocked you. <laughs> not one of them wanted it. But y'all can make an Amanda and Chris page where you just collect couples of Amandas and Chris's. Yeah? You think that would go over well? Yeah. Uh, Chris says, fourth husband. If you find that guy, <laughs> tell him he needs to mow the damn wall. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Put him to work. <laughs> uh, Marianne suggesting we throw the peeps on people we don't like. I don't have enough peeps. 
They just bounce. <laughs> it's getting hot out. I might be able to put them outside and like cook them or something. Oh, hey, I'm distracting you. Do you want you to get the oven? No, no, I don't. <laughs> can, can we wait till like 10 o'clock to turn the oven on? Yeah. 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 Kind of thing. <laughs> we will have a cooler summer though this year since we have our new cooler. And stuff. I can definitely feel the air, but as soon as that oven goes on, it's, uh, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Uh, can you remind me in like half an hour, please? Half an hour. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is a cookie. We're gonna make a cookie that's root beer flavored. Then we're gonna make some frosting that's root beer flavored. And we're gonna put frosting on top. Okay. So it's kind of gonna be like the crumble cookies that we made. That sounds fun. I, I'm curious just to see. My expectations is the level of root beer wow that I get. This recipe says you can add more if you love root beer, more of the extract. So oh, okay. we'll, we'll see how it goes. Well, yeah. Uh, beer Mug says, can you pivot to the air fryer instead? We actually did that last summer. We made, uh, Amanda had suggested the strawberry cheesecake chimichangas in the air fryer. We did those. But I, you I know what? what um, I would like to try a, another air fryer recipe, recipe soon. Is Mooch in a spot? Yes, we'll bring Absolutely. up the Mooch cam in just a, a minute. Is Jess here? No, Jess went to a play. I think she went to go see, like, it's me, Margaret. It's me, Margaret? Uh, it's a movie. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret? Or they so, made it into a movie. No. And, oh my God, my mom wants me to go with her to see it. <laughs> Will wait, you know my place? No, wait. She went to go see a play <laughs> of like, and today we're better known as the group called The Little Women. And then they went on tour or something. I don't know. The little are little women. Little up? women. I think she's she went to go see a she went to go three see a three D play in her town. So she's not. <laughs> she went to three see a three D play. Yeah, she's not around. Uh, Chris would like to wish Dan a happy Mother's Day because the other day he heard you were a mother something. Couldn't quite make out the last <laughs> word. <laughs> Dude, I'm so cool. I set my mom Mother's Day candies a week ago, and everybody's asking her what she wants. Do you want your candies? And she's like, nope, Dan already sent them. Danny, Danny <laughs> my, already sent them to me. My mom and asked I'm me like, today, did Dan send his mom something for Mother's Day? I and did. I said a week ago. Heck yeah. Heck Speaking yeah. Speaking of Mother's Day, entertain. Hi, everybody. One of these came in a box from Amazon, and it was all kaboom. The end. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to that. We'll that's talk about really that. That's what really happened. Um, so Blake is gone. Blake left for the weekend to go hang out with his friends, um, like out of town. And before he left, he he walked up to me like this. Do I have your Mother's Day present now or when I get back? And I'm like, oh, I'll take it now. Absolutely. And like, why would I wait? He's, he's gone for the weekend. And then he goes, he comes back and goes to his mom's house for Mother's Day. And then he's at his mom's house for a whole week. So I go, wait, wait, wait a week and a half? Absolutely not. Please give me my gift. And he whips it out. This child 3D printed me a flower pot with cats on it, on each side. And he said if I pick a color scheme, he'll paint it for me. Um, it, it also has a drain hole and a little drain, like, water catcher thingy. So <laughs> what you, how freaking cute is that? Uh, a plant. Nice. That's, that's what it's for. Um, however, I still have not found the time to do my gardening. So maybe next weekend. But yeah, how well does the kid know me? Cats and plants. Like, perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Blake even though he's probably not watching. Although he might be, sometimes he does. So, one of the things this recipe calls for is buttermilk, and I believe that I have talked about this before on the stream, but I'm gonna talk about it again in case anybody missed it or forgot about it. Uh, my friend Holly, you guys may know Holly, you know, my friend Holly, she lives like up the street. She gave me one of these and I used the heck out of it and had to buy more. I bought a new one on Amazon because I didn't know how easy it would be f to find in a store, so I just bought it on Amazon and they put it in a box with zero packaging. So it was just rattling around in there and the top popped off and the safety seal broke and a bunch of it dumped out. Should I like to see if it was the same dude who threw it on our porches the other day? <laughs> Could you please? Maybe it was his fault. Um, so I I'm still gonna use it. Only, only some dumped out, but I definitely contacted Amazon. I was like, what the heck is going on? Why did you guys not package this correctly? Uh, it was not eligible for return or refund like through the seller because it was a third party seller. And I was like, that's unacceptable. Like I can't use this. I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna use it, uh, but unacceptable. And so like, I got my refund and uh, still have my buttermilk. So this stuff is a buttermilk powder. Buttermilk, at least out here, only comes in this big. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know the measurement. Court, maybe? I, are you, like, mimicking all my movements over there? Because I'm going to come over there and punch you is what's going to happen. I had a little brother, and I do not take well to my movements being mimicked. Really. <laughs> I will fight you for it. Um, so you have to buy, like, a big thing of buttermilk. And one can only use up so much buttermilk before it goes bad. So I tend to not make things that require buttermilk until I discovered this. Thank you again, Holly, who probably isn't watching. She used to watch all the time. Now she has a life. Now the pandemic's over and she does things. Um, so you just take water. So it's, 
it's, say you need a cup of buttermilk, it's a cup of water and four tablespoons of the buttermilk powder. Although I just saw a pro tip, so I'm gonna tell you the pro tip. Um, but you just mix it until it dissolves completely because it's kind of chunky, and then you have buttermilk and it works. You could taste, I made pancakes for Dan a couple weeks ago that I used this in and they tasted like buttermilk pancakes. Totally works. Uh, you can make your own whole milk and vinegar. Yes, absolutely, but it still doesn't give you that quite the same buttermilk flavor. This does. When you're doing it, like a recipe like this, you're going to taste the root beer more than anything else. Totally fine. If you're making buttermilk pancakes, I feel like it doesn't give you that buttermilk flavor the same way um, as if you add vinegar or lemon juice to milk. It just, it's not quite the same. So this this is my new jam. This is what I am all about. Uh, Chris says, does things. What are these things you speak of? I'm intrigued. Oh, you have a small child. You don't get to do things for a few more years. Uh, one one day he'll be like a teenager and he'll be more self-sufficient and you can you can go back to doing things. Remember those are those things you used to do? How, how old is AJ? Eight? About, about nine years ago, you used to do things? It's, it's that, it's that. Our kid is now 21, so we get to do things again. It's great, it's the best thing ever. Um, where am I? Uh, Dan behave don't mimic crystal I heard that bad thing can happen quick um, I, I will fight <laughs> I will absolutely fight I hate that who had a sibling that would mimic their movements or or repeat back everything that you said that that's a punchable offense for sure absolutely <clears throat> Uh, yes, Nikki thank you for reminding everybody there is no show tomorrow we are going to see violent femmes who went and checked out who the violent femmes are anybody anybody no? Uh, Amanda Turner says, I can't wait to do things again someday. Yeah, th things are not very uh, compatible with raising children, unfortunately. It's just not a thing. Uh, Hannah says, I was that sibling. Oh, then when I finally meet you one day, I will go ahead and punch you in honor of your siblings. <laughs> Is that okay? Can I do that? Because I'm the older sibling, so it's, it's kind of my lot in life. So, the pro tip on here is to mix the dry buttermilk blend with the other dry ingredients and then add the appropriate amount of water when the recipe calls for the liquid buttermilk. Brilliant! Why wasn't I doing that this whole time? I mix it in here and I'm like, it's still clumpy! And and then I just wait and I have to let it sit. What, what's the other way? To add it to the dry ingredients and then add the water and you've basically done the same thing. It doesn't have to, you don't have to make it buttermilk, you just need that amount of liquid with the buttermilk flavor. Fantastic. And it will mix better. It's like when you add uh, cornstarch to something. If you recall, Dan, if you just add cornstarch to something, it like clumps up and it doesn't work, and you have to make a slurry with a liquid yeah, first. Yeah, slurry. Yes, same sort of thing. But it's hard to mix this in. It just kind of clumps up even in the water. So adding it to the dry ingredients makes much more sense. So that's what I'm going to do this time. We'll see. Uh, Hila the Husky saw violent gems in the 90s a few times. That's different. <laughs> We're talking about the violent femmes. I'm sure that's what you meant. I'm just teasing. Uh, I saw them once about 20 years ago, so I'm excited to uh, see how they've Dang, aged. You were 20 to 5? Yeah, yeah. I, w I was early 20s. They were probably early 40s. So we're going to go see a, a bunch of 60-year-old men and see if they can still uh, rock out on the xylophone. We'll see. I don't know. Damn it. What happened? Nothing. All right. So we are going to mix together the butter and the brown sugar. And I have to remember, don't let me forget to cut everything in half. Bunch of not older siblings here. Y'all don't know the struggle. I really don't. I always uh, commiserate with Blake because he's the oldest. He's got two uh, younger brothers in his mom's house. And y'all don't know the struggle if you're not the oldest. Really don't. Or if you're an only child. You got a whole different life if you're an only child. You cannot relate. Have you seen the the short form video going around that's like, do you announce where you're going every time you leave or enter a room or were you an only child? <laughs> like you have to say like, I'm going to the bathroom and then like let people know where you went. Why? It's just a thing you do. Like it comes from being a child. Like I'm playing with this thing. I'm, I'm just going to the bathroom. Like I'm playing like, this video game or yeah. Like you just have to announce where you're going and then it, it carries over to later in life that you announce where you're going? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. There's an oldest, Hussie Mambronico. My son's an only child. Oh, a spoiled little Dan kid. Yeah, where's my only child brats at? <laughs> where's my only child brats? Blake got the best of both worlds. He got to be a, an only child here. Ew, no, the scissors can't go. Look, we got rid of the knife block because it's just ugly and the knives and it was, are not sharp. And it was clapped out. The, those knives wouldn't cut anything. No, they're bad. So we decided we'll get rid of the knife block. We don't really use the knives. You don't realize how much you use your knives 
until you decide to get rid of your knife block. Uh, we did keep the bread knife, the serrated bread knife, because that we definitely use that. I am not happy with not having a knife block. I need the kitchen scissors, but there's no place for them to go, and they just keep moving from drawer to drawer, and I'm not happy with it. I'm getting another knife block. I don't care if you never use it. I just you messed up my life. <laughs> it's all out of sorts now. All right. Now you can have that. Sasuke Daniel says to whip your brother. Oh, I'm gonna whip it. I'm gonna whip it good. All right, what am I doing? Okay, so the normal recipe is a cup of butter. We're cutting it in half, half a cup, one stick of butter. It's two cups of brown sugar. We're not doing that, we're doing one cup of brown sugar. Hopefully I have enough in here, but if not, I have an extra bag. No, Dale, those knife sets weren't worthy of sharpening. And no. They're, and they're they're over a decade old. They're more than a decade, they're like a decade and a half. Oh, we're so old, we have to update it now. It's like a decade and a half old. It was old yeah. and tired, and they were tired. I owned them they, a bunch. I got them as a gift, and I don't want them anymore. They were they were purchased on clearance, and when I opened them up, they were already missing a knife. Remember? And she was so disappointed. Like, oh my god, I can't believe it's missing one. And I I tried to do everything I could to see if I could get a replacement. Their KitchenAid brand. There's no such thing as a replacement KitchenAid knife. They don't care about your problems. They don't even answer you. Watch your fingers. I'm good with them. Uh, so yeah, we just we we need a new a new set of knives. I, I need a smaller set of knives. There's no need for a three-person household, one of whom is a vegetarian, to have a six or four knife set. Can I just have two? Can we I have, have like we have plenty of knives two steak knives, yeah. a santoku knife, a bread knife. That's we really have, all I need. We have a knife set in the drawer. Which makes me wonder if I should just get one of those knife blocks, like a generic knife block that you could just put your knives in. I've been looking at that. I'm, I'll we can't, it out. except for the handles are all ugly, and you're not gonna like that. Hi, mom. Uh, did you possibly double the recipe? No, I'm cutting the recipe in half. The recipe that's posted is basically what would equate to a double recipe because it has four cups of flour, and most cookie cake recipes and stuff will call for two cups. So I'm cutting it in half. I did not double it. They they doubled it. Apparently, they thought they needed to be swimming in cookies. All right, I do have to open this. Uh, get a magnetic strip for the wall. I have cats, that would not work very well. They, they would knock it down for sure. <laughs> we did talk about that, but no, that's not happening. I'd have to train all of them not to go on the counter and we've, we've, that ship has sailed, that's not happening. Here you go, Dan. Thanks. All I ever use is a chef knife, paring knife. Oh yes, paring knife. I need paring knives too. We have the, all the, the ones we have in the two knife sets we have. I don't like the paring knife. They're not. It's not what I want it to be. That's it's, fair. It's just not right. Right. Uh, and butter knives. My kitchen shears live in the canister with the spatulas by the stove. I didn't think to put it in there. I could do that in the, the crock thing. My le creuset crock. That would probably make more sense. But it's not working in any of the drawers we've had it in. Uh, Wolfie, who has been a gifted member for two months now. Yeah, way to write it, right it, right it <laughs> Congratulations. out. Congratulations. Uh, with his member Wolfie. Super Chat says, why do stormtroopers always use iPhones? <laughs> why? Because those are not the droids they're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Lucas jokes. <laughs> you like that? All right. I, I love it, Wolf UW. May you never have to pay for a membership again. <laughs> oh, can you see? Look at Mama Cat. Uh, like Hannah's it. suggesting we have, like, 3D print a knife block. That's kind of brilliant. Mama Cat's uh, back behind there. You see her up in that top corner up there by the fan? Way up there in the top corner? Oh, uh, where she's not supposed to be? Where she's not supposed to be. Where none of them are supposed to be? Oh, look, look. There's everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, I'm turning it on. We're doing this. All right, we're mixing together our butter and brown sugar, and then we're gonna add our eggs one at a time, but we're only gonna do one egg because we're cutting it in half. So, one egg. Ah, ah, ah. Insert egg separation joke here. <laughs> there will be no egg separating. I 
hate the little membrane piece in eggs. It really And it hates you. All my girlfriends, every girlfriend I ever dated hated those things. It's gross. I'm putting that on my tin my Tinder profile. Must Must love egg membrane? Must you, me, and egg membrane makes three. That's gonna be is there did they give you a title? That's my title. <laughs> Turn it up, it's baking time. Woo woo! Uh, insane in the egg membrane, PJ says. <laughs> so Sam gross. says, I heard if you separate uh, the eggs, it'll make the cookies taste better. I don't care, I'm not doing it. Uh, the egg makes you insane in the membrane. Oh, I like, let's see which one was better. Okay, so PJ had insane in the egg membrane, and Chris had the egg makes you insane in the membrane. It's pretty much the same joke. But which ones? Well, PJ's is, would win because it's one, two, three, four. It's, it's egg with membrane, two words, or five. One. It's hyphenated. It counts as one. So one. I two, mean, it three. shouldn't be hyphenated, but it is. So he told the joke in four. He did. All right. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Your uh, your joke's been deleted off the screen. Dang. Well, it's only, he removed it. It's only fair, friend. I would do the same for you, PJ. Uh, Scott says when he separates the eggs, he just puts one on one side of the counter and the other on the other end of the counter. That's how I'm going to separate them from now on. No hands. <laughs> PJ says, I made it simple for yeah, hands. No, Why well, use many word when few word do trick? Uh, Chris conceded. PJ got there first. He wins. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to try to whip this up a little bit so the uh, butter gets fluffy. What are you doing, Dan? Still scrounging for snacks, huh? Uh, Nobody makes you eat them, but here you are. I'm scrounging for like food. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, Gila says I'm saving up for that mixer. Friend, if you can hold out till Christmas time, they go on sale. They go on like crazy sale. We, my mom and I went in for uh, my brother's wife, my sister-in-law. I hate my sister-in-law, it's so weird. Uh, we bought one for Sandra for Christmas one year, and it was way on sale. I think we paid like, 200, maybe 250, and there was a $50 uh, Visa gift card included with it. Like, like I, I kept that. <laughs> like, and that was my money back for, for purchasing it. So if you can hold out to Christmas time, that's the time to buy, for sure. Now what are you doing, Dan? Oh, well, when I looked outside, Kamiko was in the neighbor's yard. So I was like, watch you come in. And I'm still trying to fight going to get a burrito at the time. I'll a few dollars. I might buy you a burrito if you're good. If you stop mimicking my movements. I uh, <laughs> hate you. The gaming cam uh, says excellent puns and jokes. Uh-oh. Sam posted a picture of my next knife block on the baking page. Let's see. <laughs> Dan? I think she nailed it. Oh, could we put a little mohawk on the top of it? Absolutely. That's awesome. If I'm gonna have a little voodoo stabby man, we can absolutely make it look like you, Dan. <laughs> Let me go. Oh, that's great. You may have to consider that. I'll have to look into what kind of knives it includes. Yeah. Kamiko used to hop the fence. She but now around. she's old and lazy, she goes around. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Are you supposed to be up here? Oh, he's not so while well, we're baking. He's so neat. Yeah, he's really neat. Charging board for the computer. All right. Stop egging Dan on. Oh. <laughs> we had eight sandwiches the other day, and it was like we had bolts. It was like we were eating bolts. It was so long. It, it was egg salad. Yeah, it was really good. It was good. I have not had an egg salad sandwich in well over a year. And then I was like, mm, egg salady, and then nobody laughed at my joke. Do y'all know what movie that's from? Mmm, egg salady. <laughs> <laughs> now we do. <laughs> What'd you do? I don't know, but when I dropped it in there, I heard pieces like smashing. So either this cracked or the or that cracked or that cracked, but like I felt like pieces went somewhere. I think it was just the rattling of the knives. Our I hope, sucks. or you're in trouble. Uh, Sam says it sounds like Pee Wee Herman. And BRM Bugs being no, more specific, it says the second Pee Wee Herman movie. Thank you, BRM Bugs. That, <laughs> that would be Big Top Pee Wee. <laughs> would it? Yeah. You would know. Mama Cat! 
Whoa, I don't know what you did, but you like highlighted the screen. Mom cat! Uh, I bumped the mama cat bumped the mouse. She's like, put me down for some reason. Do you know what? that I, I blew one of the guy's minds at work today? Because he wanted me to do something to a, a letter I was typing for him. And he's like, just just highlight all your text. And he was like reaching for my mouse. And I reached for the keyboard. And I control A. And he went, hmm? Did you do that with your mind? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> for sure he didn't know that was a thing. Uh, Chris says, today's secret word is egg salad. Every time anyone says today's secret word, scream real loud. Ah. Egg salad. Ah! Okay, but that would be from Pee Wee's, Pee -wee's Playhouse. Playhouse. This one was from Big Top Pee Wee. I feel like I watched the movies, but I don't really remember the movies. I watched the heck out of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah, it was on Saturday mornings. Yeah, way, way back when I was a little crystal, I uh, I got up in the morning <laughs> and saw things. Well, we had Saturday morning cartoons. There was a reason. There was a reason. Okay, now I need to add my egg. Just one. Also, thank you for the super chat and uh, the secret word of the day, Chris. Appreciate you. <laughs> it's egg salad. <laughs> you just toss that word around all night. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> Her brother's favorite movie was Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. Never understood why. I'm sure Dan will explain that to you. I was listening to a podcast and somebody was talking about how um, they were uh, they, they met a new partner and were um, becoming in a state of undress and showed off a Pee Wee Herman tattoo and it got real awkward. And the guy was like, yeah, I used to have nightmares as a child about Pee Wee Herman. And like, deal breaker. He was done. Like, that was it. No, I mean, I'd, I'd reach for the nearest Sharpie marker. <laughs> I'd be scribbling that thing out. I'll be like, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> uh, Wilton, hi, Wilton. Um, hi, Wilton. Hi, Wilton, and um, high speed life. Ooh, with your 37 second upload. I know. I was, I was talking about you in the shower today. I was just like, <laughs> Wait, how is she uploading that thing in 37 seconds? It still takes me like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, I know. Uh, I did watch the new one, and I don't know. I, I It didn't catch my whimsy. It was fine, but it didn't catch, it didn't catch my whimsy. You, um, you have to read PJ's comment. PJ says, has anyone else seen the... Pop war no nope. word of the day <laughs> were the stuffed toilet paper roll plushy who gives you words to say instead of saying you are going to take a poop. No, -uh. <laughs> what is that a YouTube page? Is it monetized? <laughs> Do, does the pennies come trickling in? Uh, Doris says the dogs just all perked up when they heard the cat meow. Don't worry, she'll keep meowing. She wants out. Know, okay, so hey, let's see how we're gonna do this because I, I don't have dry ingredients yet. Okay. To okay. add the buttermilk too, but it says it's time to add the buttermilk. She wants me to go out there and play with it. So, I don't know what the right answer is. Oh, it's on TikTok and Facebook. Okay. Okay. No, I, I haven't seen that. Hmm. Hi. Hey, what's up, bro? So, it suggests that I add the blend the buttermilk with the other dry ingredients and add the appropriate amount of water when the recipe calls for liquid buttermilk. It calls for liquid buttermilk now. But you didn't make a soup. But then I should add this to the dry ingredients. But then the and dry then that'll go in later. After that, where the yeah. dry ingredients so, supposed to go in right after this? Probably. Then you should be okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'll do it that way. Okay, let me get my mold to mix my dry ingredients. Will you make the oh, mixer? Will I should you probably turn my oven on? Uh, yeah, like a half hour ago. Oh, I've still got time. Three seventy-five. Don't worry, Dan. If anyone can kill time, it's this guy. Okay, so I will add the water in just a minute, but first I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients, which is gonna be halfsies, so two cups of flour. Uh, so Dale says, um, I thought since spider bite from last year, Kaneko was banned from going outside. Yes, no, I am paranoid all day long. Outside. I have the cameras on so I can see her on the house. All I do is run out there and make her come in all the time. I let her out just because I know she's sitting right here, but I don't like it. I anytime I hear a dog barking, or if, is, I, I run out there to go find her. But you know, spiders don't bark. She's she cool. can get bit by a spider laying in the grass outside the door. There's no barking spiders. 
There might be, but I haven't seen it. Um, uh, Sam has but... says it has not been 30 minutes since you asked me to remind you. Um, I didn't stall as well as I thought I was going to, and I'm a little ahead of the game, but we, we can we can chat for a while if you want. Kill some time. She's just out there sitting there. I'm uncomfortable with it, like, anyways, but... Uh, she got I also took Mooch outside the other day. You did? I opened the door and I let him go out there with me while I was doing some stuff outside. He snoofed around. He was pretty happy. He does love being outside. Even though he's just angry about everything. Right. Oh. Are, what? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Your book says barking spiders only show up after eating egg salad. <laughs> ah! You didn't ask for egg salad. <laughs> <laughs> you were too fast on it. I forgot all about it already. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to say the word egg salad anymore. <laughs> ah! <laughs> every time, Dan. Every time. Okay. So. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? What is my life? Okay. So buttermilk and root beer extract, which means the water and the root beer extract. But I'm mixing dry ingredients. So I have my two cups of flour. We're going to do half a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. That's cut in half. I have to tell myself that so I know that I remembered to cut it in half. Thank you to everybody who screamed along. <laughs> Sam, oh, whatever. It's on. And then, so. The recipe calls for a cup of buttermilk. We're gonna do half a cup of buttermilk. So I have half a cup of water and it's four tablespoons for every cup of water. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this. Excuse me, I need a knife. I screamed in Italian, is that okay? <laughs> Absolutely. How do you scream in Italian? It's a ah! <laughs> <laughs> So I'm adding the buttermilk powder to my dry ingredients. Okay. Oh man, this is so much better. Like, I was down to the bottom of my buttermilk and it was getting kind of clumpy. So this is much better. Like, the freshies. Also, have you seen Hannah Wills? Wells? Willis? Willis. Willis. Is are Hannah here? Willis here? Are if you are here, here? show yourself. I went to the P.O. Box today and I got a package from you. Watch out, I've got a whisk. Mm. I should have been doing this all along. This is brilliant. Why didn't I read the pro tip? Now we'll see if it's an upgrade. I think it'll be the same, it's just the mixing is easier. Oh, Hannah is here. All right, Hannah, when we get cookies in the oven, we will open the package from you. Okay, and then it wants a teaspoon of root beer extract. So half a teaspoon? Yeah, it's that one. Okay, back to this. Hi, Dan. Hi. She's got a whisk and she's not afraid to use it. And she knows how to use it. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Don't do it over there. You... Smell. In the, in the hand, not over the pan. No, it's root beer extract. You can always have extra extract. It smells like extra root beer. Oh, it's super dark. Uh oh, that was a lot. Mm hmm. It said you can add more if you like root beer. <laughs> Half a teaspoon. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, what happens if you add root beer extract to vodka? You want to try? I don't think I need vodka right now. We're going out tomorrow. Yeah, here's the thing. I need to be functional tomorrow. Oh, I drank last Friday and it kind of ruined the rest of my weekend. <laughs> like, it's been a minute since I've been drinking. So, yeah. yeah. You're, you were slow motion. I absolutely was. Even like Monday, I still felt slow motion. Okay, so I added the appropriate half a cup of water for the buttermilk and I added the root beer extract and we're gonna mix that in. This just had water in it. I can go back in the cupboard. It's cool. It's whisking it to annoy Crystal, Dan. <laughs> yes, yes it is. You know, it like doesn't want to mix in. I don't remember it being so weird last time I used it. I guess that's the thing. Mix! Did I tell you that the taco truck, like on Google Maps, has a point? and everything nice. like it. And the phone number's on there. I'm, I think I'm gonna call it a burrito. Are you? I might have to call it a, a drop Just ship. over there. Can you set the smell via internet? Looks like it's splitting the batter. It's just not mixing in. I guess it's kind of, yeah. Uh-oh, that's not right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to get some closer in here. 
I mean, what am I supposed to do? That's, Not that. That's what the ingredients call for. That is like Separation City. We're gonna make it work. I might even put my whisk attachment on there. <laughs> I was at Hobby Lobby today and saw a two pack of mini whisks. I almost bought them to send to Dan. If you did, you'd have to cover up the K with a P. Oh, you know? We have um too many whisks. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I currently own seven different whisks. Two of them are the same. Oh, One other than that. That's not working. Someone described a smell, root beer farts. <laughs> uh, that looks like like an ambrosia salad. Oh. It looks like a bowl full of worms. It looks like a bowl full of like <laughs> oh. Is there an expiration date on the extract? I was wondering that as well. I don't think extract expires, does it? For a while. It's on there. Yeah, still good. What's the best buy date? Like, was it like anytime soon? It was last year. Like a year ago last year or just barely last year? Like last summer. Oh. <laughs> um. So, uh. <laughs> you want me to just drink some root beer? <laughs> Out of the way. Your bowl full of flour, try that. Wait, what if you add more dry ingredients? In I haven't added any dry ingredients yet. It's not dry ingredient time yet. And sometimes recipes look weird like this, and then you add the dry stuff, and it's fine. Okay. Oh, I'm still going for it. <laughs> oh. We'll find out. <laughs> together guys all right what is my next step all right we're gonna add this I'm gonna keep this handy just in case I need to switch back we we have there's there's a vote of no confidence right now oh but let's see timber Just fine. Yeah, see? It's cookie dough again. <laughs> to bake is my real test, yeah. yeah. If I don't like them, I'll give them all to my mom. We're good. She'll eat anything. Except Golden Grandma uh, crispy treats. She don't like those. You doubted me? Come on. Yeah, it might have been the fact that there, it was water I added and not buttermilk. I think that might be it, Christine. But now the buttermilk powder is in there, so we'll get the effect. I think it'll all mix up fine. We'll make some cookies. Is that frosting for cookie dough? That looks good, but also very strange. Um, no, this is just the cookie dough. It's looking cookie doughy again. Never doubt of me, unlike the rest of the room. Sure, friend, sure. Yeah, see? Good job. Do you do you have faith in me again, Dan? I do. Because you were making some faces over there. You doubted me for sure. Oh, for sure. Nice comeback. Thanks. Sometimes I make a nice comeback, sometimes I cry. too high up on my whisk. 
Is that Kamiko? Did you leave her outside? Yeah. No, 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 no. You knew what that meow was. You knew. Welcome to the RFS fam. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Don't know if you've been a member before, but there is a new audio recording. Not a podcast, even though it really is a podcast. They won't let me call it that for some reason. I don't know. Uh, but there is one up there that we made last week, and we'll probably do another one this weekend. And also the, uh, the other stuff and things. And you can use emojis now and give a cool mohawk next to your name. There you go, Auntie Anne showing off the emojis. Look, this looks perfect. I don't know why anybody would ever doubt me. Uh, Christine wants to know if Kamiko caught a small animal. She was trying to. Yeah. I'm trying to figure That was out. her hunting meow, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm like, get, I just grabbed, like, get in here. I'm just looking at the taco truck, seeing if there's like how many of those cars. Just go, employees. Dan. Just go to the taco truck. We'll be fine without you. It's uh, fine. Yeah, it's but fine. Now just go. Car pull up. Now there's like three cars there. That's rupery. That's good. Do you want to try this? Wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, Scott says you may not want to be making baking suggestions, Dan. Remember last week? If you get in trouble again, Crystal may not have a co-host next week. Who said that? Scott? Do you remember what happened last week, Dan? You know what happened last week? Lemon loaf? Oh, I didn't Which, hear Which, by the way, was delicious. Uh, I think it was F. Vance suggested uh, Gorilla Glaze. <laughs> and, uh... It, it worked fine. I used a spatula and I went in at one end of the, the loaf pan and I scooped the whole thing out. Some bits crumbled off, but I laid that down, put the other half on top of it, and it, it was fine. Once I refrigerated it, it all kind of mostly solidified again. It, it, it was okay. It was okay. It was delicious, too, by the way. Uh, Crystal, cleaning off the beaters. That's what husky or Dan tongues are for. Dan doesn't really... Uh, like the beaters much. It doesn't, like, you know what it is? All the years I had my tongue pierced, it, like, didn't work right. I just get locked Oh, blame the tongue piercing again. It's been a minute since we had a blame the tongue piercing. Doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. Oh, Amanda got a haircut today. It's a bob style, so I cut off two to three inches. Was it last year or two years ago? You, like, you, you went big and you chopped off all your hairs. And it was finally getting long again, but it, it looks cute short. Did you post a picture on your page so I can see your haircut? Uh, did Mr. Mixer add his Everdime to your mixer? How do you know? Is that it on the back? What does that mean? Oh, is that this? Hold on. I didn't know what you were talking about and then I looked at my mixer. Hang on, let me find the right angle. Is that it? Because there, there didn't used there? to be a rubber piece there. That's why when I put it down, it feels more cushiony. Remember I said like, oh, it's like squishy when you put it down. Is that is that it? Oh, yeah, then I guess he did. Dun, 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 dun. I had no idea. Didn't even pay attention. But I did notice the difference when I, when I put the, the head of it down that it was like squishier. All right, we got some uh, cookie dough going on here. It's fine, just fine. What does this do? Like, what is this? Uh, doing? Hannah says it keeps it calibrated. Okay, that makes sense because like it's not gonna let that screw move. Hmm. -mm. I don't know, but I'm happy with it. I'm glad we did it. Uh, like I said, it was, it was pricey, but worth it. It's still cheaper than buying a new mixer. Um. So, is the next step to like pat it into like a ball, like a cookie ball thing? Well, it's not gonna be a ball because it's a very Liquidy dough. It's kind of almost cake battery. Uh, drop my tablespoonfuls onto baking sheets. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes. So there you go. 
Uh, what's an Everdyne? Google it. It's It helps keep the adjustment of the KitchenAid mixer correct, I guess. I, I didn't... I didn't realize it was a rubber thing. I thought it was just when you put a dime at the bottom of your mixer. I don't I never really thought about it. Well, I'm not here to think about the logistics. <laughs> I should use my cookie scoop for this instead, huh? That would make much more sense. Dan, go get a damn taco or burrito. Oh, there's too many people there. Oh my god. There's always gonna be too many people there. So today at work was a very disappointing day. There's a, one of the kids we hired like as an intern, he was graduating, like I think this week, and there's other kids we've hired as interns, and after you graduate, like, we hire you full-time. And so this kid was going to get hired on full-time, but he decided he was going to, uh, his family's moving to Tennessee, so he's going to go with them and move to Tennessee. Uh, today was supposed to be his last day, so we had a company lunch planned, but he didn't know about that because he only works on Friday since he's been in school. But we all knew there was supposed to be a company lunch. We're like, the company pays and takes us out somewhere, and we have lunch for free from the company. And about 8.30 this morning, we're like, where the heck is he? Because he's always early. And, and he called out sick, so nobody got a company lunch. But everybody was all ready for company lunch. We got nothing. Nothing at all. All right, we're, we're going to try this. I don't know how much these are going to spread, so I'm going to kind of keep them spread out a bit doesn't say how much to spread them. The first batch, I always spread them out more than I normally would just to make sure they aren't gonna touch each other. <laughs> Dan has left the room, by the way. I don't think he went to get a taco. I think I hear him calling for Kamiko, but I thought she came back in, so I'm not really sure what's happening. Ooh, Chris brought home tamales tonight. Yum, for your celebration week of Mother's Day? Lucky you. I haven't had tamales in forever. I've been telling Dan, I want tamales. They sell them right there on that same taco truck corner in the morning. Couldn't tell you the last time I had tamales. I do work with people who have um, like Mexican from Mexico wives that make tamales. So sometimes I get tamales at work. No, oh, Hannah, your new internet's not doing it for you. Boo. <laughs> I thought you brought her in. She got back out like she opened the door herself. Sounds like you need to get up in the morning for tamales. Uh, Chris, have you met me? I, I don't get up in the morning. Sounds like Dan needs to get up. See, what happens is Dan wakes up at like 6, and he goes and gets the fresh tamales, and then he puts them in the microwave, and then when I get up at like 9 or 10, then there's tamales for me. Will these cookies spread? I don't know. We're going to find out. Hi, Mama Cat. Hopefully there's enough room there in case they do. Uh, 10 to 12 minutes, so we'll start with 10. All right, what's going on here? Uh, Scott says, when I made your the chocolate chip cookie recipe last week, I didn't separate them enough and had two big cookies. I mean, is that really a bad thing? Is it? <laughs> Dan's on the way to Narnia. That's entirely possible. I hear some weird noise out there. I'm not sure what he's doing. Ooh, Nikki got some Cane's chicken. Uh, I don't eat chicken. Blake, however, had Cane's chicken and fell in love with their sauce, and he's been making it uh, from scratch at home to dip all of his chicken in lately. Like, every time he comes through the week, he's like, can I make some of that sauce again? So he's been all about that. I tasted it. It's all right. It's it's better than ketchup on French fries. Oh, Wolfie said the temperature's dropping. It is. Uh, we've gone down a few degrees. It's eighty six here now. Uh, 
I might make scrambled eggs, hash browns wrapped in a tortilla. That is my favorite kind of egg burrito. I actually have been buying uh, English muffins though. Wait, do you just call them muffins there? <laughs> Are they, do you have like Thomas's English muffins? Is that a thing there or do you just call them muffins? Do you know what I'm talking about? With the nooks and the crannies? I've been buying those and vegetarian sausage patties and making homemade egg McMuffins. That has been my jam. Blake's been getting sauced. Yeah, he's been all about that. Also, those uh, those factor meals, another batch of those showed up right before he left for a week and a half, so I don't know what he's doing with his life. Uh, you have a cat on the counter. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> the new ones are still easy to intimidate. The old ones uh, look at me like, what? This is, this is where I live. Uh, how hot was it today? It was 71. Uh, here, I think we hit 89. And that's what it was when I... I'm looking at the ALEXA because she tells me. Um, when I started the show, it was 89. I think that was our, our high today. It's going to be in the 90s this weekend. Let, let's see what it says. <laughs> no eating things. Did you just lock her away? Yeah. I had to go... Fetch her out of the neighbor's yard because she wants to go eat the she wants to go eat the birds, but oh they're, yeah, they're too I, high up. I don't know if if you guys can see that. Uh, Saturday ninety four, Sunday ninety three, Monday ninety six, Tuesday ninety five, Wednesday ninety four. Oh yeah, we're in the nineties all this whole week until uh, next weekend we get back into the eighty nine. So I can actually do some gardening. It's next still weekend. a little warm out. Yeah. Yeah. You already put the things in the oven? I did. You missed the whole thing. Shall we open the box from Hannah? Uh, yeah. Fantastic. So this is from Hannah Willis. Mm -hmm. Willis? I think that's... Yes. Fetched out of the P.O. box today. Yes. I did uh, get to go to the P.O. box and get it today. Are we talking on? It, was, it should be open. Uh-oh. You know it sat in my car for a couple hours. Ooh. Oh, I think, we're, I think we're good. I think we're good. Overtime. Nice. You shut off my tiny camera over here. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, that is totally your favorite. This is my favorite. That is totally your favorite. My absolute favorite. I am taking this to work and hiding it so nobody can eat it, and I will eat it at work. Thank you so much. Nice. I'm excited. These are a little hard to find. Out here, the only places I can ever find them are like uh, TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshalls, and you know stuff doesn't go there when it's fresh. Right. So. Um, I, uh, I see them at the airport. At LAX or like? Out of California. Mostly out of California. Yeah, it's when you go to Michigan, it's everywhere. I think in Illinois, it's everywhere. Not so much out here. Uh, Gluten Free Food says, I am a new subscriber and a new friend. Well, welcome, friend. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hanging out with us. Right now, we have some cookies in the oven and we are uh, opening a package from our friend Hannah Willis, not to be confused with Hannah Brew. Uh, Hannah says, I enjoy watching Getting Baked and Dantix each week. Yay. I noticed Crystal was getting low on vanilla. So I got more from nice. her. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I like this one a lot. Yes. I have not seen this in stores, not that I've looked very hard. I feel like um, this is the one that's a, a Mexican vanilla. I think we should check at like Bayarda and see if we can find it. Okay. And uh, I don't know if it's that reasonably priced here. Has a price tag on the top? I don't know if it's that reasonably priced here, but thank you so much. I really like this one, and yes, I yes. am almost out of it. Yes. Um, and fun things for your cats. These are my cat's favorite toys. My cat's names are Bo and Rocky. Oh, please don't read the note on camera. You should have said that at the top. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. There was nothing embarrassing you there. You had one. It's on the back of the note at the bottom. I'm one. sorry, Hannah. I'm yeah, sorry. Job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What if you eat the note? That's your job. <laughs> you eat the notes. <laughs> um, they love these. You know that they love these. These are Mooch's favorite. He does not know they're here yet. Let's see how much they love them. Hang on, hang on. There's uh, her cat's favorite toys as well. Oh, to uh, Precious is gonna go nuts. And Mama Cat, Precious and Mama Cat love oh, these they do. little they mice. Oh, they throw them up in the air. Oh, absolutely. They are gonna go nuts for these for sure. It has an aroma cats can't resist. I don't smell anything. Yay! Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Let's uh, uh, let's wake somebody yeah, I up. Have, I have four minutes on this batch of cookies, so let's see what happens here. Um, note to everybody: if you don't want me to read your note on camera, please write that at the top. I'm I'm really sorry, Nikki. Or Nikki, Hannah. <laughs> Did I say Nikki? <laughs> I think I was looking at the chat. Keep it going. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I told you at the start of the show, I'm a little bit delirious. 
That's it. I, just, I call in it, and then that's it. You just call your shot. Then I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Look, not to be a jerk, but... Yeah, you know, <laughs> but I right. told you I was going to be right. a jerk. Right, right. Yay. These, you have to bring this nice I don't think I talked right. about this on camera. I found these on clearance. Um, the big packages for a dollar. So we had yeah. we had gotten some of these, and they the, were really happy. The cats really... The They're going to love this. Really oh, up. Mooch's head is already up. Can like we get him. side cam on Mooch? Let me see his ears. Yep. He knows. He knows what's up. You're not even awake yet. Hi, would you like this? I like that they look like candy bars. <laughs> you had one job, I know. Sorry. Sanders has a store on Mackinac Island. Oh, uh, Jason and I were trying to figure out, I mentioned the other night that I bought my tickets to go see Jason next month. We were trying to figure out if I can go to Mackinac with him because they go a couple times a year and scheduling and, and plane ticket prices were just not working out. I'm cat. Uh, I'm cat. No Mama cat. cat! But one of these years, I am gonna go to Mackinac with them and I'm gonna get to see the Mama island. Cat. But we don't need cat butt. Everybody needs a cat butt. Mama Cat wants to know what uh, Sue says, welcome gluten free food. There are a few of us who are gluten free here. One day we'll do some conversions. Uh, I think I talked about it after Di was here, but I tried so hard to help my friend out. She's gluten free. And I bought some gluten-free flour. The lasagna worked well. The, it did, but I bought the flour so I could bake a thing while she was here. Nobody told me that uh, you have to add xanthan gum. What are you doing? I was trying to find a bigger version of this There's camera. nobody here but Mooch. Oh, I thought you were going to throw some snacks on the ground. I, I need a cat to throw a snack oh, at. Oh, yeah, call Tubbo. Oh, yeah, so I have, I have it's not one-to-one -one flour. She educated me, so now I know for next time. But I bought some gluten-free flour that you had to add xanthan gum to, and she said that's kind of tricky because it can mess with your stomach, and it, oh. yeah, I, I felt really bad. I let my friend down. I click a train. Yeah, did it work? Because nobody's here. Hey, everybody, come here. Hey, dirt face. Would you like this? Oh, Topo wants it. Will you stand up for it? Yes, you will. Mama Cat just got pushed to the back of the line. Hi, is that a Roxifer? Did you keep Kamiko away from the spiders? I did. That's I did. not what I'm trying to keep her away from right now. It's the cute little birds outside. There you go. No. Oh, I can smell the root beer cookies. They smell so good. I have a minute and a half. Okay, I can do one more. A gluten-free conversion is not easy. Apparently that one-to-one -one flour, according to Dai, was the way to go. Hey, you can't reach in there and get your own out. He was grabbing for the package. Little girl, where you at? Um, but they have a gluten-free section where that is. If you go to, at our store at least, if you go to the flour section, the one-to-one -one is not there. It's all the weird stuff you have to add xanthan gum to. So, yeah, I, I failed my friend. I need to make them bigger. Okay, let me let me do a little handout here. Where's the little girl at? Right here. Oh, well then where's Baxter? Probably under Blake's bed where he likes to hide. If you go shine a flashlight at the front what? bed. No, it's not an episode of cops. <laughs> Hannah said that her dad just said, oh my gosh, too many cats. Dude, There's no such thing. Hannah's dad, that's like not all, that's like not even all of them. <laughs> that's half of them. That's like, yeah, that's not. That's not all of them. Well, that's not very impressive. No, it looked too liquidy when you were doing stuff. Too. Well, what do you want me to do? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Or like... I'm good at nothing. Or like, I didn't have a backup answer to that. Alright, Mochi, you gotta go back to your bed. Ugh. Time's up. We'll open this Keep one. him on his bed, please. Hold on, the cameras are facing the wrong way. Stay on your bed, Mooch. Does that work? Hey, come here. There's some bits here that'll be cleaned up. Get the bits. Back on your bed. Yeah, I might have to add a little bit more flour. Maybe a little bit more flour. Stay there. They still look like they'll be fine. Oh, we're still eating them. Does the dough need chilled? It doesn't say to chill. I always follow the recipe the first time I make something. This does not say to chill it. Are you it's always better to here? chill it. I just wiped it down. Did you not watch me? And then you smeared everything through it and then Mooch is walking through it. You guys are killing me here. Too many cats. <laughs> Too many cats and a Dan. 
Um, I don't know that the issue is necessarily chilling, although that would make it a little bit stiffer. It's just really runny. I can try that. Why not? What do we got? We're, we're only halfway through. I still gotta make a frosting for this, though. Maybe this was not the best recipe. Sorry, Mom. She's not watching anyway. Not much. I was watching you make root beer cookies. <laughs> oh, Chris. What do you know about that freezing it? Uh, maybe there was a reason they doubled the flour. No, no, no. They, the whole recipe was doubled. Like, cutting it in half shouldn't make a difference. Are you freezing it? Well, no. I guess I could stick it in the freezer and it would happen faster. But is that what's happening? You're trying to chill it? Yeah. Are you putting it in a bowl of ice water, maybe? Does that help, or is that not? Mm. Nothing's going to be natural chill. Huh? Look, I don't know, because here's the part where I'm trying to think on the fly. And I don't, I don't know. I'm not very good at that, Dan. Go get a freaking burrito, Dan. I'm waiting to see if there's like people waiting. It's like a 10 minute wait over there. That one car is still there. Here, take this, because it's got cleaning stuff on it. Are you going to do the glass thing? I don't need to on these. They're perfectly round. On that batch, at least. Like, they didn't do much. <sighs> Sorry, fluster. No, Sue says it needs more flour. I followed the recipe, though. It did the thing it told me to do. Looks like you could listen to Sue. Well, I can't do all the things. We're on like fail number two already on this recipe. I can't take away flour if I add it, so I think I'll start with trying to chill it. <laughs> Hannah said her dad just said, told you he's always eating. You with me? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you really are always eating, except on Dantics. But that's only because you need to use your mouth. Oh, Brittany's here. Hello, Brittany. Uh, Cyber Husky says, but it's hot in your kitchen. It is. It is. It's not too bad because the air's on, but yeah, it's a little warm. All right, let's try the ice water bath. Dan, do you watch AEW? Yes and no. Uh, John Moxley has a new entrance and a new music video. I wonder if they got rid of, I wonder if they couldn't afford Wild Thing anymore. <laughs> I wonder if Tony Khan didn't want to pay for it anymore. But I'm not caught up on it. But I'm not a spoiler on AEW. because you messed up the buttermilk. I didn't mess it up. I followed uh -huh. the pro tip. Uh -huh. I right, followed right. the pro tip. All right, nobody's at the top of the Go. Dan has left the building. Who's crying? Is that you? Can you go outside without you? Oh, I think you just stole my car. All right, we talk about how it's it's almost impossible to burn things with a silp hat. These are pretty toasty on the bottom. Not burned, burned. Did he take his wallet? I don't know. We'll find out. I don't think he had it in cash. 
Damn, change your shirt. Oh, yeah, these are kind of toasty on the bottom. Ew. Hmm. Are you reading pro tips, Lily? Did I miss those? Oh, is that in the I make these for my husband and he loves them blah 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 pro tips? Because I don't ever read the blog part of things. That's not very good. All right. Lily says that it says to add a bit more flour and show it. I'm going to trust you because I'm not going to read this whole thing. Kamiko needs a cat harness and a leash. Have you seen her? You can't put a harness on her. You can't tame that beast. <laughs> you like that face? It was gross. It tasted burned, which is really weird. Because nothing ever burns on the silk hat. Uh, what is the thing you read the comments on? It's a monitor. Like, Dan has two computer monitors, and one of them is on an arm that swings this way off of his desk. So, yeah, we just have a, a computer monitor there. So we can make the font big so we can see it. Alright, we're thickening up a bit. A cat carrier with holes in the bottom for legs for walking. That would be funny. The Kamiko is a tough cookie. She did try to chew her leg off. She did. Don't mess with her. She'll chew your leg off too. She is absolutely fearless. Uh, so is Roxy, by the way. That cat is not scared of anything. When there's like, when it's trash day and the trash truck's out there, all the cats go running. Not Roxy. She's just there taking a bath. Whatever. Not afraid of any noises or anything. She's a brave little toaster. Right, I'm do just a little bit more. A kitty playpen, maybe. Uh, no, Husky Mom Bronico, I have not made these before. These days, I'm rarely making anything on the show that I've made before. It's mostly new recipes. Um, sometimes there are things that I bake, like, off the show, and then I bring it onto the show because I like it. This is not one of those. I have not made these before. Uh, I have made a root beer cookie before, but not this one. Okay, so now, now we're a little bit thicker. That's a little more cookie-like. Dan is spying. What? Get out of here, Dan. And there's no tamales, Chris. The tamale lady's only there in the morning. Maybe if Dan loves me, he'll get me some tomorrow. Maybe. All right, here we go. I think this will do it. No mooch. No. What if Dan just started live streaming from the taco truck and everybody left to watch Dan? <laughs> Kamiko in one of those space bubble backpacks. I don't think she'd like that either. Kamiko is the cat that like, you can't make her do anything she doesn't want to do. She's not a go with the flow cat at all. She is an independent woman who does what she wants and uh, tears her leg off if she wants. I don't think he can since he's already live streaming from the channel. He could find a way. He's got other channels. You don't know. You don't know. Dang, did you, give me him. Did you say it's peaceful without Dan? <laughs> Send tacos to P.O. Box at My Town USA by zip code. Oh, do you not have taco trucks? Taco trucks are the way to go. I'm telling ya. 
The only thing I don't like about it, it's not good for vegetarians. Most of the flavor in like authentic Mexican food is in the meat. They season the meat and they make the meat delicious. The other stuff has some flavor, but most of the flavor is in the meat. And so if you order something without meat, Dan, did you just taco fund yourself? You, you know, you know, 30% of that goes to YouTube. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> oh my God. Um, uh, so yeah, anytime I go to like a real Mexican food place, like a, a taco truck, or there's a couple places out here, like Mi Ranchito, really good Mexican food, according to everybody else, really bad vegetarian Mexican food. Uh, the meat and the refried beans, yes, because they usually use lard. So anytime you get anything that's not like lardy and meaty, it's, it's not good. <laughs> It's really not. It's just, it's boring. You have to bathe it in sauce, like some sort of salsa to make it good. Okay, chilling it is definitely making it thicker. This this is working. We may be on to something here. Oh, Dan, you're so wonderfully odd. That's Dan. You have a Mi Ranchito? I've heard of that place before. Yeah, I think there's two of them out here. There's one like right up the street from my work. I don't know if it's like a chain place or if that's just like what Mexican people call their Mexican restaurants. Ah, uh, Chris with another round of tacos for Dan. He probably won't even get a taco. Probably, we always talk about the taco truck. I think he only ever gets burritos from there. Sometimes he gets the street tacos. Not a fan of guacamole. Oh, guacamole is the jam. I love guacamole. But you know, I'm from California, so avocados. We are almost ready. It's starting to set up a little bit better. <laughs> Adding tacos now. <laughs> You'll feed him for the rest of the night. Cause you know this is only like third meal for him. There's still one, maybe two more after this. <laughs> Avocados from Mexico. Now that jingle is stuck in my head. Oh, we have those commercials out here too. Uh, Chris won't even eat the mole without the guac, without the guaca. <laughs> uh, Cyber Husky super chat and tamales for Crystal. Thank you. That will buy me one tamal. I appreciate you. The price has significantly gone up. Um, I started going there years and years ago and I would stop on the way to work and get tamales for, for me and Carlos who I used to work with. Um, and they were like a buck and then they were a buck 25. And then a buck fifty. Dude, I think they're like two something now. They're ridiculous. Still worth it. I'll still buy them. I don't care. Um, Amanda says I introduced Chris's family to guacamole when they first visited us here. Like they never had it before. What? I feel like growing up. Like I grew up in a my dad's culture, for lack of a better word. Like his side of the family is German. But there's not really a whole lot of culture there that they like held on to and tried to impart. Oh, is that how you're super chatting now, Dan? That's better. You two can't take 30% of that chat. Um, but my mom, her side of the family is Italian. So we had like Italian things. And then we just had like, like poor people food. Just, you know, macaroni and cheese, hot dogs, sometimes together, sometimes separate. Uh, but we never had like cultural food, like from our culture much. And we didn't really have, and we had burritos, but I feel like that's not really real Mexican food, especially the way white people eat them. Oh. Um, so we never had guacamole. I don't even know when I first had guacamole, but that is my jam. I'll eat the heck out of some guacamole. We had German night in the cafeteria in college every year. The most boring and bland food. Yeah, I don't... My, my dad's side of the family did pass on a rice peel-off recipe that's really good. Um, it has those little mushrooms that are like this big and it's the whole mushroom like ball with the little stem. I don't eat those, but those were in it. And then vermicelli and rice. I haven't made that. I have that recipe. I inherited that. Um, but I don't think I've had that since I was a kid. All I have to say is I have not ever used powdered buttermilk, so I don't know if that might have messed up with the recipe since I've not used it before. I don't know if that's a problem. I've used it. I had one of these and went through the whole thing and I've used it on a ton of recipes. Never had an issue. So I don't think that's necessarily the problem. Look, you guys have seen here. Sometimes I use a recipe from someone's blog and it's just not a good recipe. It's also, uh, like I think Amanda pointed out, it is warm in here. That could have had something to do with it too. It needed more flour, clearly. Uh, Chris says the schnitzel at the local German restaurant is amazeballs. I'm not really sure what a schnitzel is. I'm not familiar with German food. 
But hey, now that you have an Aldi, I think right now is uh, German time where they have all kinds of schnitzels and ditzels and things. That's a thing, right? All I have to say is this is one strange recipe. I didn't make it. I just picked it. I don't know. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not. We'll see if this batch turns out any better. Any better? Yes, they do have... I think they regularly have some German stuff at Aldi, but then there's like... I, they always call it German week, but I swear it happens like three or four times a year that they like load up on the, the German things. Good thing I have the recipe because I don't want a bunch of these crappy cookies. It's so quiet. It is peaceful without Dan here, huh? It looks like smooth peanut butter. It, it sort of does. It smells like root beer though, so that's a bit of a mind F. So in case you guys were wondering what it's like when Dan goes to Michigan or Canada, this is what it's like. <laughs> no Aldi stores anywhere in Boise, Idaho. So weird. You're in an Aldi desert. We're over here plentifuling with our Aldi. Like I've said, we've got one in our town, one in the next town over, and the other side of the next town over, they're they're planning one out there. They're, we're my work is currently in the planning stages of the design for the, like the parking lot and all that stuff in the building. I'm German and never had German food. Yeah, I don't know that I have either. Wiener Sigil doesn't count, just so you guys know. That's just squished hot dogs. An Aldi desert and a Dunkin' Donuts desert. You're not missing out. We've talked about it. Dunkin' Donuts is just a disappointment. Let's see if this one does any better. I, oh, I was thinking about making them bigger. I think we'll, we'll just try it. We'll try it as is. We'll see. This might be a fail. I might not even bother making the frosting if the cookies don't come out good. I'll just go to my mom's house and make something else. Uh, yes, Uncle Yukon says, two German brothers started Aldi's. One stayed that way. The other changed to some other name. I forget. You have to search who owns Aldi. I don't feel like it again. It's a well-known store. Uh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's and Aldi are, are sister stores. And I think America got Trader Joe's and Germany got Aldi. And then Aldi started coming over here. And it's all different now. I don't think it's as separated anymore. Bear rocks? Beer rocks are amazing, but you can't eat them? I mean, I could. I choose not to. Oh, Mary Grace is falling asleep because it's so quiet without Dan here. That's it, Trader Joe's. Yeah, I like Trader Joe's. We only have one of those in our whole valley and it's way on the other side of town. We go there and we stock up like two or three of everything we get from there. There's only a handful of things we get from there. Uh, the samosas for when we have Indian food. All, uh, Trader Joe's has the best cheese sticks, the mozzarella breaded sticks things. So we get those. What else do we get from Trader Joe's? Uh, the naan and the... The naan for Indian food. Uh, dried mango. They have really good dried mango. Yes, Trader Joe's is like a grocery store. Um, uh, Jennifer, are you familiar with Aldi? Because it's kind of the same thing where it's a small store. So Aldi is like, like if Trader Joe's and the dollar store had a baby. So it's like weird stuff and some of it's off-brand. Trader Joe's has a lot... Oh, Mooch knows. Mooch knows. Look at this snoofer snoofing. Um, Trader Joe's is a lot more like organic-y, bougie kind of stuff. Like you'll fill up your cart and it's $500. Don't buy like your milk and eggs there necessarily because it can get really expensive. Um, yeah, more of a gourmet grocery store, but they have good stuff and like random weird stuff. Um, I have, oh, the ube stuff was out again. We should go to Trader Joe's on Sunday when we're out that way. I have, oh, you did get tacos. Hey, the cucumber's cold. I want cilantro on the cucumber. They're probably fresh because they're cutting them there. Um, I don't, 
quite figured out what to do with this yet. Get back. But there's an ube spread. And they had like ube pancake mix and stuff, but I didn't find any of that. <laughs> yeah, here you are. Did you get a burrito? I knew you'd get a burrito. No, you two can't have this. <laughs> Jess says, put that in your Ninja Creamy with an ice cream mix. I don't have a Ninja Creamy. <laughs> and cucumbers or radishes with tacos? I guess so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jess says, hi, Dan. Hi. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Ninja Creamy? <laughs> uh, she says the possum is doing good. Yay. Good to know. You saved it. You're the possum's hero. So, Dan, I ended up adding more flour. Uh -huh. I know you were watching, but I don't know how much you were actually watching. Not really. Fair enough. Um, I added more flour mm -hmm. and chilled it, and, and we got a thicker dough. Uh, Marianne says cilantro tastes like soap. So, Marianne, I don't know if you know this, but apparently it is a genetic thing that either cilantro just tastes like cilantro, or if it tastes like soap to you, it's a genetic thing. My mom can't eat cilantro. She says it tastes like soap. But we don't know but, which is right. <laughs> Not soap. For sure. But it's it's something with your, your genetic makeup or something. I, I looked it up one time so I could explain it to my mom, but I don't know. But it's not a thing where you're just like, ew, I don't like cilantro. It's It has to do with, like, how your taste buds are processing the flavor. So if you guys don't like cilantro because it tastes like soap, that's because, yes, Hannah, it's a genetic mutation. So y'all are mutants, and the rest of us enjoy cilantro. So that's sad. Cilantro is really good. If it does not taste like soap to you... It's amazing and I absolutely love it. Um, when we had Mexican food for Cinco de Mayo at work, they brought like a big bag of chopped cilantro and I just poured that all over the beans and rice. I love cilantro, so good. It makes such a difference in your food. Now now we have the new divisive thing. Does cilantro taste like soap? You mutant freaks. <laughs> I'm with you, Hannah. It's so, so sad. Like I feel bad for you guys because cilantro is so good and you're just missing out. It's a sad story. So can I join the X-Men? Probably. Yeah, your, but your superpower is that cilantro tastes like soap. Yeah, they won't be uh, serving cilantro at uh, Profe uh, Professor Xavier's uh, school for gifted uh, children, <laughs> I think it is. Uh, Afriel says it's fun to grow in an herb garden. Uncle Yukon, you've never heard of cilantro? Um, have you heard of coriander? Because coriander is, I think that's what people in other countries call it, and it's also out here, like when you get it dried, that's dried cilantro, is coriander. Now Dale says cilantro tasting like soap would be a step up or more from what it actually tastes like. Huh. Maybe you just don't like that flavor. That's fair. But if it tastes like soap, that's a genetic thing. <laughs> Cori what? Coriander. It's a... a seasoning like an herb i guess it's an herb like a dried herb uh that's kamiko meowing it's always kamiko meowing if it's no. whiny and complainy it's kamiko she wants to go outside yeah, very she wants to go outside and eat the birds yes mooch did not have enough that's too spicy oh so sad you want another snack from hannah would you like a piece of what looks like chocolate but isn't? Topo definitely does. Hi, you love this, huh? Good catch, bud. Uh, coriander is the seed, cilantro is herb. Same plant, just two different parts. I thought coriander is when you dry it out. I mean, not, not that I'm doubting you, but I thought that that was uh, when you dry it out. Gaming Ham, you never answered me on if you have English muffins and if you call them English muffins there. <laughs> I have a super chat for you, straight to Venmo, okay. from Cyber Husky. Ooh, thanks, Cyber uh, Husky. $10 tamales for Crystal. Aw, thanks, friend. Now I can get, like, three tamales. I'll get you two cheese tamales tomorrow. Thanks. And, and then I'll get, two next week? And I'll get me one before. I can do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes, I will get you tamales uh, tomorrow morning. When I get up early, I'll go get Tamales. <laughs> tamales. 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 Tamales? Tamales. <laughs> tamales. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, cilantro turns to coriander if you let it grow to seed. Like after it turns, after it's cilantro and then it keeps going, then it becomes coriander? 
I don't know. I don't. It use becomes oregano. <laughs> no, that's a different plant all together. You're correct on the dried part. It's dried seeds. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Figured I'd avoid those YouTube oh, features sure. this way. Like Thanks. That, that's a whole tamale. That was a whole tamale. <laughs> tamale. Thing. It's a whole tamale. A tamale. One is a tamale. I like to use all the letters equally. <laughs> I give, right, all, but, I give them all a fair shot. But in Spanish, the plural is the ES. Whoa, what happened over here? There's a bite taken out of it. It wasn't me. Oh, it's gross. Eat it. It, it like, overcooked and it tastes burned. It it's not too bad, face. but it tastes like missed that gingerbread. Missed gingerbread cookie. Yeah, that, that ain't it for sure. Mm. That isn't that bad. That isn't that bad. Uh, yes, we have English muffins. Okay, do you, you call them English muffins? I know, you can't go outside, I'm sorry. Are they actually an English thing? Because, like, there's Canadian bacon here, but in Canada, they don't... Sam? In Canada, <laughs> the Canadian bacon's brined in... It's like, it's a salt water, or brined, and then cooked. That's why it's Canadian bacon. Wait, what? Like, in Canadian bacon is, like, ham that's been brined. Right, but cooked. in Canada, they don't call it Canadian bacon, right? Yeah, because it's brined and cooked as Canadian bacon. It's not, like, regular bacon. That's not, like, soaked in, like, Jess's pool. <laughs> uh, crumpets is what they call them in England. No, I don't think that's the same thing, is it? Because you have tea and crumpets. Tea and an English muffin? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I'm new to the word uh, English breakfast. Just this last year, we were watching <laughs> that some... so gross. We were watching some uh, Big Brother Australia show, and yeah, she was complaining and about English like breakfast. Yeah, beans and sausage. <clears throat> I think it's tea. <laughs> Chris quoting me, oh, it's gross. Eat it. <laughs> he did, though, right? Uh, crumpets and muffins are different. Okay. Yeah, that's what... I thought they were different. I know crumpets are a thing... But I think they're different than, uh... Ah! You have to yell because Wolfie said egg salad. <laughs> Where are you going, Topo? Uh, Canadian bacon is also called pea meal bacon. Well, that sounds appetizing. <laughs> Gross. They both have nooks and crannies, Oh, do you want says. these? Okay, okay. Oh, I can, I can get these. Can I have the scissors that are not my kitchen scissors? Yeah, but I'm going to put this this way so you can toss them over here on the ground. I know you can't go back outside. You're going to get put into the room if you don't... You're going to drive everybody crazy there. You can't go outside and eat the birds. And Nikki's mom wants an English bref breakfast someday soon. I, you know, it just doesn't look appetizing to me at all. Not even a little. I had to go snatch her up, up the street, up the street with her flip-flops off, on the wall, trying to get, and all the birds are having a meltdown. They're all on the power line trying to Because they up. remember her from previous years. Yeah, so I had to go, like, totally snatch her up. Yeah, still not loving this. It's still giving me that, like, smooth, like, it doesn't look very good. This is not my jam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Go keep it going, but I don't know if I'm gonna frost these. No? Is this a fail episode? I think it is. I, well, I'm over it. I don't know about you guys. Sorry, Mom. Did you toss a mouse already? Yeah, Topo will realize it's not edible. Or maybe he'll play with it. Mama Cat, Mama Cat will be down for it. Precious, too. But he, Precious is on his own terms. You can't make him play. He has to wait until nobody's looking, and then you just hear thumping, and you peek over the couch, and he's back there playing with his toys. English muffins are really good. I like the English muffins. I remember having them for the first time when I was like 10 or 11. Like, so I got my mom bought them or something. Hey, do you want one of these? You don't really play much. The package said it was a smell you couldn't resist, though. Can you resist it? Uh, what's the problem now? How can we help you fix this recipe? Um, I don't know. <laughs> here, I, I know There's, how to fix it. I, I'm over it. I know how to fix it right here with, with little Mr. Perfect. Is that my backseat? It is your backseat. Hi. Seat. Would you like a mouse? It says you can't resist the smell. He's snoofing. He is snoofing. Hi, bud. Oh, cat! He was sleeping. Is she getting it? Oh, you woke him up? Here, if that's the case, then let's Ox. let's go over to. Did anybody else make this with us? Oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> there goes Topo. Oh, Topo was derping on it. It has a little like rattle inside too. <laughs> oh, you're missing the fun with Topo. Mama cat derps out on this stuff.
You can talk, 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 please. I, <laughs> sorry, I'm I, sorry. I, We're all enjoying the cat. I was reading chat. We're watching cats. They're they're clarifying what Canadian bacon is, what black sausage is. It all sounds disgusting to me. I'm with S- Uncle Yukon. Just make some jello. Since it's time for them to have a can of food, do we want? Is wanna, it? Yeah. Do is we want? Do we want to feed them so we can see all the cats? Can we? Can we look at Tobo, please? Because he is waiting for me to throw this. <laughs> Get it, Topes. She's like herb. Okay, so um, I heard you talking about like I'm calling this quits. Are you trying again with a f- with like what happened? I mean, we're not ending the stream, but like what ha- like what happened? Uh, did it like? So it did this thing, <laughs> where they just like puffed up weirdly, and it's kind of <sighs> how would you describe like touch it and feel describe that texture where it's like rubbery almost. It's airy. It's, it's and, and it's they're airy. still kind of burny on the bottom. It's, they don't look appetizing. They don't taste good. I'll try another one, but. I like chewy. And not in a good way. Something's not right. Something's amiss. This is definitely better. Adding the flour definitely helped. They puffed up a hey, little Roxy. more. Watch out. I don't like this recipe. Watch how happy Roxy gets when you go to pet her. Roxy, come here. <laughs> Tail up, happy girl. She usually does this little wiggle, but she wasn't doing it this time. No, you can't go outside. Uh, have you accepted my friend request on the Nintendo Switch? No, because we have not played the Switch since we played on Wednesday. Maybe I just yeah no I think if mm-hmm. you I think the other yesterday or something I was on there and oh, I I uh, I added everybody. Uh, Hannah, again, suggesting it was a bad idea to add the water instead of the buttermilk. No, people, I promise you. Uh, I have used this on so many recipes on, and it's never been a problem. You can't see her rat face. There we go. This has never been a problem but to add this. But it was a problem today. I don't think that's what caused the problem. What do you think caused the problem? I think it's a crap recipe. <laughs> Is that allowed? Uh, look, we've talked about this before. It could be the barometric pressure, the humidity, the... Is mercury in retrograde? If mercury is in retrograde right now. It could be that. I don't know. No. Okay. Uh, adding the water without mixing the buttermilk up. I don't know, because it all still went in there. I don't think that really made a difference, because it doesn't really make buttermilk. It's still the same ingredients. I don't. I don't know if that makes a difference. But I have never had a problem with this buttermilk causing any problems in any recipes. So I don't. I don't blame the mutter. But the buttermilk. <laughs> I don't blame the buttermilk. What does mercury retrograde mean? I don't know, but white girls know. blame all their problems on it. Yeah, so I'm I going with it. Okay, so we got Topo over here. Um, he's pleading for some snackaroonies. He's he's pleading for like a canary. Okay, taste this and tell me what you think. I'm gonna give you just the middle that's soft and not the crunchy end. The texture's not right. It tastes almost like a pancake. The there, taste and the texture is kind of like undercooked pancake. It huh? turned into it turned into if I were to take the dough and roll it into a ball in my mouth. I'll swallow it, but it turned into a ball of like something. It's not right. It's not right. It's ingredients. Uh uh-uh. Yeah. It's ingredients. It's raw dough. It's yeah, raw it's, dough. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to find something else to make for my yeah. mom after the show. That's I don't not, I don't even think I wanna waste my time It looks like it's gonna be a handmade card. <laughs> Maybe. That's what it's gonna uh, be. Beer and Bug with a super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, more tomorrow fund. Thank you. Aww. Uh, happy Mama's Day to all the mamas out there. Appreciate you. Would cooking it longer make it better? No, because it's already burning on the bottom. That's it's, the thing. It, it, I can taste like the steps. It's like it did it. The, it the, didn't interweave. The ingredients did not blend together well, right. which is a thing that happens sometimes <clears throat> in recipes. I don't understand the science, but it happens. Um, did not look good either. No, it doesn't look good. Can we get this camera again? Um, thank you again, Pierre and Bob, for the tomorrow fun. There will be tamales in the morning. Um, the bottom is like hard. It's cooked. If I cook it anymore, it's gonna burn like the first it batch. It turned into science. It's it, it's like, overcooked on the outside, and it's this weird. It's like undercooked pancake. That was a good way to describe it. It's it's weird. I can hear it. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Be all right, Buck. Thank you again for the super chat. And happy Mother's Day to all the moms. I love Mother's Day. It's when everybody posts pictures of their mom on, on the <laughs> It's when Instagram. we all love our moms, even though nobody posts anything about their moms all the rest of the year. Um, yeah, so... Eh. 
Abort. Uh, Dale Shut says, up. give it a couple weeks, get some new root beer extract that's more up to date, then try again. Because I still say that may be at least part of the issue. I am okay. more likely to blame okay. the expired root beer extract, although there's not much of it in there. So it I don't matter. It's still. A I thing. don't think. Okay, you got it. You can't just. I'm more it. more inclined to blame the the expired root beer extract. It's not that expired. It's not even a year. It's a expired. year. It's like a year. There was a J month on there. I've used expired extracts before. Oh, I, you're expired. It's not like it suddenly like implodes or goes moldy the day it passes that date. Come on now. Look. Um, it's like I don't think it was the buttermilk. More likely the root beer extract. There's so many different. Um, like there were so me, many. It could have been. More likely crap recipe. Sometimes it happens. You guys have been here before. We've made recipes that just don't turn out well. Uh, maybe less heat, more time. Possibly. The heating element is new in our oven. Yes. I think, I don't know, Crystal blames the recipe, oh, but the, nobody else is. The heating element has been replaced and there is a uh, thermometer hanging in there. So I do not blame the heat in the oven. We, it wasn't even that long since we replaced it. But look, sometimes when you make cookie recipes, they just turn out like this. I bake a lot of cookies. You guys know this. If you bake a lot, you know sometimes because you're just picking a recipe some blogger made and maybe they live in like the Colorado Rockies up on a big giant hill and I don't. And maybe the barometric pressure. Yeah, not every recipe is a good one. I don't trust these mommy bloggers. They just put out whatever Dang. they want. <laughs> You're good until you have a crotch bond and then I don't trust you. No and more. then I don't trust you. Look, sometimes they're good. You guys are here, most of you every week for this. Sometimes it's a fail. What's up guys? It just Look at, they're like, you know what's not a fail? It's us. All right, all right. Are it's they getting a us. bonus can of food? They're gonna get bonus time. I'm done with this guys. I'm not even cooking the rest of the bag. I can't see you no more. Hold well, on. Well, it's not like it's my show or anything. It's cool. I'll wait. Uh, just as I wonder how the reviews on that blog are, I always read those to see if others have issues before I make something. Um, I don't necessarily trust the reviews because, again, it's, it's hit or miss. I also picked this particular recipe because my mom loves these six sisters. I, I, they do cooking videos and stuff, and she loves them. So I'm like, oh, I'll make her that one because she loves the six sisters. And eh. Eh. Let's okay. see. Let's see what the comments. Hold on, Dan. I'm still doing a show here. Um, I I love this recipe Woo. so much. That's what it says. Um. Somebody wants to try it. These sound good. What is icing sugar? Is icing sugar powdered sugar? These sound amazing. Uh. Someone made a different version. Looks yummy. I'll try it. Thanks for the recipe. I'm making these for sure. These look awesome. Looks like something I need to pin. They look delicious. Does anyone know where you can find? Look, nobody has made these. <laughs> that makes me not trust it too. Uh, turn off the oven. I'll get there. I'll get there. I, I might throw something else in. Mama cat. Mama cat has taken over on that little uh, mouse. By the way. Oh yeah, she's it, she's going to close her over here playing by herself. <laughs> no, yeah. No, don't jump on there. Um, one person says they made them and they were amazing. Uh, didn't get the brown color, but added some vanilla to the icing. I can't find fresh. Nope, nobody tried it. Uh, Miss fresh. Unlucky says, tried the recipe and did not find it pleasing. It turned out cake light right, and the let's... icing did not become thick. You couldn't taste the root beer in either of them. Let's watch, there you go. Let's watch Precious and uh, Topo uh, put each other in headlocks. Hey, move it, fluffer tail. Yeah, so not a lot of people seem to have tried it, and there you go. See, it, it's it's not you, it's the recipe. Thank you. Finally somebody not doubting me. I'm keeping the root beer extract, and I'm going to keep using it. So how about that? <laughs> if you don't like it, don't eat my root beer cookies. But, yeah, too, too cakey, too chewy, too gross. Gross. Just gross. They're all just going to go in the trash. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> Those reviews sounded like she called the phone tree to ask for good reviews, right? Yeah, it's not really a review if you say this looks good. Did you try it? Call the no. What? I don't I don't want to hear what you think about the pictures. Called the what, Mr. Movie Phone? The phone tree. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> uh Afriel show, showing her age. <laughs> I don't think phone trees are a thing anymore. <laughs> Come on, precious, you putting Topo in a headlock or what? Um, I'm missing a white bowl. Oh, uh, oops, I moved the mouse or something. Hold on, something got moved here. What'd you do? There you go. Here uh, try another root beer recipe. Not tonight. Like, I'm I'm done with the show and everything. And actually, I probably should shut this off because it is pretty warm in here. All right, Precious and Topo are going to... Dan White Bowl? Yeah. Oh, Baxter's going for the mouse. Thank you, Hannah. They, they like these. That was a good choice. The little rattle inside, too. They'll like that. 
Yeah. I'm glad Topo's nose spot came back. Me too. I was worried it was gonna be gone forever. And I know, huh? Blue cat. Yeah, some other time I will. Uh, like I said, I don't know if you were here in the beginning, Sally. I did make a root beer cookie before that was a sandwich cookie, like the, the oatmeal pie things, uh, where it was two root beer cookies with a root beer filling inside. That is on the Pinterest page. That one was a good one. So I was just trying a new root beer one to try something different. Should have just stuck with the one I knew and loved because that one worked well. I did make that on the show and those turned out well. My mom was very happy with those. And those I think were the ones that were better, like as the days went on and the flavor kind of developed a little bit better, those got better. Uh, as you get to the bottom, a few more people said they had to add more flour and they lacked flavor. Good, thank you, Jess. I didn't want to stand here and read all the reviews, especially as they were over and over not people who made the cookies. So thank you for uh, doing a little more research because yeah, that was a, that was a bad recipe. Stopped out. You're in my kitchen now. Uh, see if you get all the kitchen for it. Uh, Marge says, I'm sorry to say these cookies tasted like nothing. The texture was great, soft like gingerbread, but the cookie had no flavor. Not root beer, not sugar, nothing. I didn't bother with the frosting, though I still might. More likely, I'll dump the remaining no dough, start over, and use one and a half teaspoons of extract, which confirmed, <laughs> which I confirmed was not past expiration. I still have hope, but less optimism. Yeah, I won't even try it again. I won't touch it. If a recipe's a fail, I, I will go find another recipe for sure. Like, I will make my mom a root beer something again in the future, but this will not be a recipe I will try again. Hi, boys. Uh, you've got three over there. Here. Maxie. Hi. There you go. Uh, Amanda, I will prove your post in just a minute. Let me rinse out this cat food dish thing, can, whatever it is. Ow, you're shoving. <laughs> Duh, are you surprised? Uh, just as most people had the exact same issue, and other people, uh, as I said, didn't actually make them. Yeah. Disappointed, but whatever. It happens. It happens. I'm glad I didn't make the full recipe that was doubled, because I'd have been more sad about uh, wasting more ingredients. Nancy says, I used one-year-old yeast in my bread machine today, and the bread turned out great. Yeast you can test and make sure, like if it's, if it's foaming up or whatever. Um, when we did, what did we do? We did something recently that used the cream of tartar. Was that last week's recipe or the one before? I think that might have been the crumble cookies. Yeah. Um, that I've had for a while. It doesn't have an expiration date on it, but it did say it could expire. Uh, I was able to test that to make sure that that was good, and it was the same sort of thing. Um, it was. I think you had to put it in a little bit of water with baking soda or something. There's things you can test. Honestly, like it still smells good. It's not like gross and. It, it looked fine. I don't think I don't think the extract was the issue. I think the recipe was the issue. And thank you, Jess, for backing me up on that. After else says, after a week of bleh, you guys make it good. Thanks, we try. Uh, Brittany's house is making wine right now, like in the toilet tank. <laughs> you making some hooch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, AJ had spirit week at the school. Oh my god, this is so adorable. Hold on, hold on. Where where is our camera? Like, do you want back to sub Um, or I can, you know, whatever. Uh, Snarg, I mean AJ, I know you had posted, I think on your personal page, what he was dressed like, and I don't remember, it was like characters from a book or something. Well, that looks cool. Uh, but that is super adorable. Yeah, bigger hairs than I did. And Plory, that's, that's what it was like. Was it a book? Remind me. AJ said, they're talking about me. AJ, you're on the show right now. In real life, you're here on the show. Uh, AJ and his class science project. Aw, butterfly life cycle, cute. 
I love it. Oh, I miss those days. Sometimes the, the Facebook memories will pop up. Um, Blake's elementary school didn't do a whole lot of that stuff, but he went to a private junior high school that was real small classes. Those of you who have been around for a while and seen the vlogs and stuff, you know like how cool that was for him. I think there was like 12 or 13 kids per grade level in there. Uh, so everything was like super fun. We read, uh, I say we because I read it with him, but they had to read The Outsiders and then it was like dress up like The Outsiders Day. So he went in, we went and bought him a jean jacket at the thrift store and cut the sleeves off and rolled his pants up and he dressed up like The Outsiders. Um, oh, what else did he do? Oh, it was like dress up like Disney Day. So he, we dressed him up like the Mad Hatter and I had an old wig and we spray painted it like a reddish orange and I used... Uh, the free boxes you get from the post office and I cut them to make him a Mad Hatter hat and then just covered it with fabric that I had and I think I like hot glued it on or something but yeah it, it was it was fun stuff I miss those days when we got to like dress Blake up and, and do fun things like that it was I ready an academic program the school used oh wait is I ready the reading one? Oh, I hated that if that's if that's what it is I hated that where it was just like it was like standardized testing for reading and the kids just had to read the books and answer the, the tests and if they didn't get them all right, then they could fail and oh, that was so stressful. Blake's burrito days. I'm about to upload what I think is the funniest thing I've ever filmed. We'll see what everybody else thinks. Yeah, we will. If it's you falling, then yeah. I was watching your video last I night. I love that you commented like, and yes, we filmed it. Like and Spoken like a true vlogger. I thought you were gonna like go for that thing that oh, the, road, the, and I'm yelling at the called? TV I, when you're at line? the park and I'm like don't do it <laughs> don't do it in order for you to get up there both feet have to come up and it's I was like Gah! I have learned as an adult you still feel like you could do the things you did when you were a kid until you try to do it and you fall down and then you're like oh I am not I young anymore at I'm surprised TV. Don was brave enough to get on there and I, I commend you for not being brave enough to yeah, get on there yeah that was a good because it sounds like a good idea good. and it sounds like it would be fun and then one slip of the wrist and down you go and it's all over and you have a big bruise down the whole side of your leg and how do you have like gigabit internet you live next door to Laura Ingalls and yet <laughs> you still have fast internet uh, Chris says that iReady is much more interactive and game-oriented learning now. Okay, then it must be a different, or they, like, retooled the program. When, remember when Blake was in school and they had the iReady, the reading It was thing? very clunky. And it was, like, like in order for him to pass at the end, he had to read the Harry Potter book. Remember that's why that's, we read Harry Potter? Because it was the only right. thing worth enough points for him to possibly pass. It was so skewed. But the questions are so arbitrary. Like, you read this big old chapter book, and then there's ten questions, and hopefully it you remember be, those obscure things, and anything. he would just come home crying. Like, yeah. I remember the book, and I read it and I understood it but I couldn't pass the test because the questions were so stupid and he'd be so mad about it. Oh, I hated that stuff. Yeah, Amanda says that it's reading and math, more of a computer program that reinforces what he's doing in class. Okay, completely different thing then. I don't know if it's California versus Arizona or if they scrapped um, what it was, it was and redid it. It was the first year they were doing it so it was, was it? new, it was clunky. Oftentimes we couldn't log in. Um, so it was bad. It was bad fundamentally. It was horrible. Even when, when he was young doing it with like the little kid books that are like 10 pages, he couldn't even pass those tests because it was just right. impossible. The, the quizzes were so awful. Uh, Wilton says, yep, it was her falling. Totally unexpected. Oh yeah, that zip line. I got scared because Don kept saying I was going to fall. Dude, you were going <laughs> to fall. You were going to fall. You were going to fall. Math <laughs> mathematically, it was like your like legs a 50, come 50 together shot. wasn't high enough for where the seat was. You were going to have to like completely commit. And then there was no more tippy toe and then back you go. It, it's when you don't have an it's, escape plan. Like, there's, there's no there way to no, back out of that. Yeah. Like, when I fell off the ladder and, like, you're just going down and there's nothing to grab onto. I was yelled last. I was like, no, it. no, <laughs> no. Like, our meetup's going to be back here. Yeah, with your neck brace. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do it, friend. Don't do it. And nothing to do with, like, your size or anything. It's, it's the fact that we are adults. We do not have the agility that you we had are, as children that we still feel like we have until we do a thing like get on roller skates. That. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Uh, Amanda Bigler, which is actually, it says comma N, so I'm going to guess that's Natalie, says, uh, that's what we have to do in school. Yeah, is yours just reading or is it like uh, Amanda saying and it's more like reading and math and, and based on what you're doing in class? So different. So different. Adele says, reading comprehension, so much fun even for teachers. Oh, man, it took a while to realize that, that Blake's... Blake suffers some, from some dyslexia like Dan, and his reading comprehension is 
terrible. But if you read it to him, he fully understands it. He's not a stupid kid, just does not understand it. He struggles so much to read the words. Which one of us are you talking about? He can't understand. Both of you. Okay. Both of you guys. You struggle so much to read the words that you have trouble understanding what you're reading. But if we read it out loud to you, no problem. You guys understand. I'm visual. It. I'm really good at visual. Yes. Yeah, videos, all about it. Uh, Marco, who is our age, says, speak for yourself. That's different. You've been doing that for a minute. Like, that. see, when... When you're when you're lazy people who like to like eat cookies and sit on the couch and stuff, then you haven't kept up your agility, so you shouldn't get on a zip line. That's all. Or roller skates. Don't don't roller skate. It's a bad idea. So, since we're not gonna be live tomorrow, you know who is. Who? Jess will be live over at Gone of the Snow Dogs at 4 p.m. Eastern time. That's 1 p.m. my time here. So you should go over there and watch the live stream. I'll be moderating, but probably in the car. So behave. <laughs> Nobody's been acting a fool the last couple times, so that's been good. But uh, Hannah, your box just scared Topo. Like, he just <laughs> jumped back. Man, we gotta get a camera in this house. Um, so go watch it. I'll be moderating from the car on the way down, but go, go watch it tomorrow. That's gonna be your live stream fill for tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, no trivia, no Pictionary, no nothing. I think Wednesday we have Pictionary, though. So Wednesday we this, will... It's, it's next. It's not... I think it's it's every other Wednesday. So it's not this coming Wednesday. It's the Wednesday after that. No, why are you switching What's programs? Dan talking about? Me? Like, there's this lady. Her name is Jess, and she's got the, the Huskies, and then tomorrow she'll be live with the Huskies. She'll, there'll, probably be oh, more, yeah. there'll probably be more people there than here. It is uh, not till the 24th. So, okay. yeah, nothing uh, after tonight until yeah, next Friday when we make Twinkies. We're going to a concert tomorrow. But, yeah, look, her, live tomorrow, that lady. Yeah, yeah she, She'll be there live tomorrow. So do that. And, but like I said, we'll probably be driving on our way down there. We don't know what we're going to do. So, like, you go down the 14 freeway, and you split to the 5, and then you go down the 405 to L.A., or you go to the 170 to the 101, which is Hollywood. So L.A. is lower than Hollywood, and we're here all in L.A. County, right? So we have to go down the 14 freeway and split up the five to go to Crumble Cookie. And then back down the five and then back down kind of this weird funky way to get to Santa Fe. So we're gonna leave kind of early. Yeah, we have to sit down tonight and kind of figure, figure out, out our game plan. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? As Dale's saying it, I'm realizing it wasn't I ready, it was AR. Remember? I felt like the kids I was working with weren't learning anything from Accelerated re Reader other than maybe how to dread reading. It wasn't I ready, it was AR. Remember, he'd come home all mad about his AR. It was test? just QQ. Yes. Because it was nothing but crying the whole time. Oh, all the time. It was awful. Right. Yeah, and Adele pointing out uh, having to regularly score students' reading and their comprehension of set texts, and it's really not inclusive for those who struggle with that stuff. The best choice we ever made was one putting Blake in the the private school so that he could have more one-on-one -on -one attention and then when he went to high school putting him in a charter school that was kind of a hybrid homeschooling thing and being able to cater to his needs and I know not everybody has the ability to do that especially if you you know work full-time it's hard um, or if you have a lot of kids yeah. but for Blake the best thing we did was to do that so that we could sit there and, and teach him the way that he learns knowing that he can read a book and understand it if it's read to him he follows along we read right. it together we're good he can't write a paper now it's different he's he can write papers and he gets good grades and stuff but he couldn't write papers he could tell you what to write but when he has to write it he would tell you this long sentence and I'd be like that's perfect write it and he'd write four words that say the same thing yeah, sorry, but Blake. No, you have to write it the way you said it. Like he's very well spoken. He's not very well written. Sorry, you got that part for me. Not the well spoken part. Um, I will say though, Blake uh, works at the college, being a like a tutor. Yeah, his teacher asked him to be a TA for the class and do tutoring. Yeah, so. and you get paid for that. Yeah. So I guess he goes to this room a few hours a week and helps people uh, with this with the stuff. And I, I was telling him recently, I am shocked at like the the person and the student he's become. Yeah. After dealing with his whole childhood of school and him sitting at the table crying, and but now he's doing stuff he's interested in. That's and, the, and that's, that makes that's all the difference. I was talking to my mom today on the phone, which my phone butt dialed my mom. Well, didn't butt, butt dial my mom. My phone was on my desk. I was over here doing something, and my podcast was playing, and something else was going on. And I told S I R I to pause my podcast, and then I look over and it says Mom, Mom on the phone. So I ran over there and I'm like, oh, hi, mom. Like, and then, so I talked to her for half an hour and I was telling her about how Blake is so much more put together than I was at 21. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's on top of his thing. Yeah, like when he was coming up to graduation, I'm like, oh, this kid, what's he going to do? And remember I had to talk with him. Like, you got to figure out what you want to do. We'll help guide you, but you need to make some decisions. You like a yeah. switch. Okay, cool. I got to make decisions about my life. And he did it. 
He absolutely did it. Uh, Jennifer says, I went to a private school. We did not have any program for reading, but my mom was a reading specialist, so I learned to read early from her. That You know, it was always so frustrating until I realized, like, the dyslexia and the reading comprehension issues. Like, why can't you just read? I learned to read early. I could read at three years old. Going into kindergarten, they tested me, and I read at a college level. So... I was reading chapter books like in kindergarten, and it didn't make sense. Aren't you, Lisa Simpson? Also, how come you can't just you read? Just, just because you can read the words, like you don't understand these college things. I'm sure, like you didn't just understand yeah, I could all understand the words. Understand the stuff. Not me. Sorry, me, my Dan. brain works different. Me feed feed bottle. Me duty. <laughs> me duty. And that was like in sixth grade. We know. <laughs> we know. Yeah. Um, hang on. There was a comment up here I wanted to read a little bit. Oh, Alan asked what the weather's like. It is down beautiful. to uh, 78 now. It, it went down 11 degrees while we were streaming It's beautiful. Tonight. It's going to be a little warm. Well, once you go down to the valley area, it'll be cooler, but it's going to be warm tomorrow. Scott says, is there not a crumble closer to the venue so you don't have to backtrack? I don't think so, um, but we'll look. we'll look, but it's actually not backtracking. There's only one way out of our town, and it's it's pretty much on the way. It's still so back. It's, it's a fork in the road. It's a little off you the path. You still have to path, go up to go down. It's not It's bad. not like Oregon Trail far. Like, we're not going to break any tons or oxes getting there. <laughs> it's like not <laughs> far off the freeway. Uh, Brittany says, just think around Blake's age, you had Blake. We were talking about that because some kids year, that Blake went to junior Blake. high with now have kids. Um, Anna, she, she has a kid now. And I'm like, wow, like, isn't she still a little kid? Like, but I guess it like 20 21 22 kids have kids they're not kids, kids. they're they're adults it's kids, weird kids have kids so yeah i was 22 when blake was born and yeah he's 21 almost 22 so dang i'm almost blake's me i guess we did about <laughs> the same thing i'm proud of him for not having a kid that we have to raise yeah. That's all I told him. Like, look, do what you want to do in life, but if you have a kid, I'm not raising it. Just know that you're on your own. Like, I'm done. <laughs> done. And Jennifer says, my sister used to, re used to read the dictionary for fun. Same Z's. Uh, I own an encyclopedia of dictionaries, which is all kinds of uh, different dictionaries. Now, what is nerd? Oh, no, wait, that's that's uh, Jeopardy. Uh, never mind. Maybe I, should, <laughs> maybe I should read a dictionary. Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Uh, Scott Maybe says, I know exactly where you're going. Been to that mall numerous times. Just know the traffic down there at times. Uh, the crumble that we go to is not in the mall. It's it's like a strip mall. Yeah, it's in that parking lot, though. We were there, yeah. like, a couple months ago. Yeah, traffic will suck on this weekend, but it's okay. We have, like, I have the day off. Well, like, kind of the day off tomorrow, so. The concert doesn't start until, uh, I think at 6 it starts. The band, it goes until 11. So the band we're going to see won't go on until later. They're the headliner. So I'm not too worried about, like. Okay, well, that's good to know. T taking our time. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Adults, you mean? Yeah, I guess. I guess technically Blake's an adult, but he doesn't f feel like an adult. I mean, he does, but he doesn't. Like that's our kid. I've been an adult more than I haven't been an adult. It's true. Technically. It's true. Yes. All right. Uh, sorry about your last Friday bake. It looked good. It turned out really good. It tasted really good. It this one, not so much. Yeah. This one, don't try this recipe. It's bad yeah. news. It's bad. I'm a big brain. <laughs> Dale, couldn't they have found an easier word for dyslexia? Right? <laughs> Although I've never gotten that one backwards. <laughs> Can you spell it, though? Maybe that's not what the word is. Maybe it's like, maybe it's like sidlexia, but I'm like, <laughs> since I'm not dyslexic, I'm reading, like, that's how they weed out the real dyslexics. And I guess I am kind of dyslexic. I've seen multiple people, multiple people asking for you to live stream Tamale Fetchin tomorrow. If you remember. You it would be at like six in the it's like six in the yeah, morning. You get up early and go, so and you get she's up fresh before she runs out of cheese. And then her like the back of her truck's open, and then like I'm just like two please, and then she gets them, and then she you know like we leave. She's you know like um like stereotypical Mexican lady where like she's short, she don't really speak a just a little bit you know as much as I speak a to her, but we always smile, get along. And on the side of her card, the little sticker says, "My other ride's your mom." So I don't. <laughs> you're right, right. So I don't know what her Americanized Wait, son. Do you know I have that same or, sticker on my Mustang? Do you, do you, yeah, totally. And, and she's got to be like in her like late forties, early fifties. No, uh, probably like late forties. Oh, she's probably younger than me, huh? She's probably forties. She could be our age. So she. Tell so you. in that car she's driving, and it's an, it's a black sticker on a tinted window, so you can barely see it. But I know that's not her. I know that's Someone not probably her. Stuck in all I there. know that's not her. <laughs> yeah, it's just a quick trip, like. Uh, like like when he went to get the taco trucks, it's right there. So it's not like a long journey. It's so. hard because like when I turn on a live stream, fifteen minutes in is when everybody starts showing up. Yeah, and it would be done by. And then. that's about how long it is. Maybe I'll make a little video of me going over there on like my Instagram. Sue then... says pictures will do. 
pictures will do. Okay, yes, Sue. That's doable. I could do that, Sue. All right, let's wrap this up. Let's do it. Because you need food. <laughs> oh, no. I was just, I thought it was oh, like you a to, Oh, you only ate your tacos on Oh, that was burrito. an appetizer. Gotcha. Starving Marvin taught me that. Appetizer. appetizer. <laughs> You're a dork. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, guys. That's all. We are not back until next Friday, so enjoy your week. Next week, we're making Twinkies. I love it. Moral support for me to go get tamales. I just have to make sure I get there early enough because those ones go quick. Yes, the cheese ones always go yes. quick. Hello, goodbye. I know, right? Yeah, so thank you so much. Um, I'll try to make a... We'll figure out what we're going to do. I'll make a vlog day out of it, like the Ikea video. Like, I'll make... Oh, and will you wait three months to put it up, too? No, I'm... I, I won't. I won't wait three months to put it up. <laughs> it was February when I was looking at the raw footage on it. I was like, when did I do that? Last one was February. It's May. Mm -hmm. So, three, three months. I know. <laughs> yeah, job. we'll have fun at the show. We will yeah. miss you We'll post oh. some pictures. Uh -huh. Okay. We'll, we'll let bye. you guys know how it's bye. going. Bye, so, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging out, even though the recipe was disappointing. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's okay. Next time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the Twinkies turn out better. Bye, guys. Have a great week. See you next Friday. Yes, bye. Bye.